says he'll make me a star if I just play the game. Welcome to your midweek show here on Airliners Live, the final scheduled midweek show of this uh, season. However, we do have a bonus evening show for you guys tomorrow evening, an extended evening show as well, where we'll be going live for approximately 2 p.m., right the way through until 7.30 p.m., guys, tomorrow evening. All right. Look at me advertising tomorrow's show. We've already even started it's today. Started today. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, thank you all for tuning in. A very warm welcome. Hope you're all doing well. And uh, welcome into the midweek show. Good afternoon, everybody. And uh, plenty of aviation action for you to come here on your Wednesday here from Manchester Airport. We're locked into Airliners Live. And uh, myself, Martin, and Matt kicking off the show uh, with you guys today. And uh, Andy's going to be joining us uh, about 20 past four. Yeah, he said around 20 past half past. Uh, yeah. Just yep. had uh, something he needed to run and do before uh, he got here today, which is no problem. We're here. Uh, we're not going to dock on. his wages, don't we, really? Do. 
Great to see all of you guys in the chat. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you're all well. Two smart links uh, just vacated the runway in front of us here. And then two in the actual two covers. Just dropping in there. And as you can see, ladies and gents, a bit of a rarity recently, but we have some sunshine. We actually have sunshine at Manchester. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a long time coming, hasn't it? Yeah. It's uh, been a bit hit and miss, but at the moment it's out, and we're appreciating that. Yeah. Fingers crossed that we, uh, we get some nice weather for the uh, remainder of the show today. We really do want to bring you guys some nice lighting to wrap up that uh, schedule, summer schedule. Ryanair Max just uh, taxiing over to the second runway, which should be actually closing shortly, around four o'clock. Which will bring all the action from the nearest runway to us here, at the runway visit park. Any A380s? That's a good question. Um, last time I checked, I don't know if it's made any time up. It was a bit late. But it's it running quite late, yeah, guys. Yeah, it was. Last time um, I and if it's, it was not getting here till about 20 to 8, yeah. which is too late for us because we need to get out of the park before they uh, finish. So um, if it's still on for them, then no. If it's going to arrive before 7.30 then we should be good to rock and roll guys um, we'll just have to keep an eye on that let you guys know fingers crossed it'll make a bit of time up eh yeah I'm hoping so because we do like to wrap up these shows on a uh, on a 380 And Terry Edwards is actually at the RVP today. Yeah, it was awesome is. to uh, see you earlier on, mate. Thanks very much for tuning in. And, uh, yeah, great to see you as well. Thanks, dude, for saying hello. Yep. Moderator, Eretel, here with Audrey. Yeah, we're having a great time, guys. Hey up, Mel. Hope you're doing well. How you doing, Mel? Sanchez, great to see you on Twitch. Uh, Alex as well, Just Trick. Welcome in. And Yori, hope you're doing well, guys. Uh, Russ, great to see you, Carl. Tasca, Mel, Harry, Kev, Danny. And uh, Joan as well. Welcome in, everyone. Hey, I'm Malky. Kicking the show off. Thank you very much, dude. Sending in a gifted Airliners Live membership. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. And uh, Daniela, thank you very much for the nine chat donation as well. Really appreciate that. I'm just... Uh, Messing around with a few things here, guys, just to try and stabilise our network a bit. If you are seeing a few dropouts, don't worry, it won't be for long. And uh, Susie B, also gifting an Airliners Live membership. Thanks very much, Susie. Cheers, Susie. Thank you. Yeah, if you are seeing a little bit of break up on the picture, guys, uh, don't panic. Just uh, fixing that behind the scenes. And uh, Seb... Returning for 10 months, Airliners Live business class member. Nice one, dude. Hope you're doing well. Cheers, Seb. 
A380 is now expected at 7.31, Ooh, Roger Dodger. Slight improvement in it, then that's not yeah, if, it can, if it can get another five or ten minutes on that, Might we'll be uh, really happy. Uh, Susie, no, this isn't the last late show. The last late show is tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be doing a bonus show tomorrow evening, which will be the last late opening here at the Runway Visitor Park. Is it windy in Manchester? No, not at the minute. It's uh, it's quite good at the moment. We're uh, pretty lucky with a. I mean, there is a there is a touch of a breeze, but yeah, nothing nothing too breeze. crazy. Pretty nice, actually, the breeze. But yeah, don't forget, folks. Tomorrow evening, we will be live. Uh, sorry, tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be doing an extended show for you. We'll be live from uh, about two p.m. We're aiming to go live, and we're going to stay right through till uh, seven thirty when the RVP kicks us out. And there is a seven five on the taxi out as well. Oh yes. Jet two in the jet. Uh, holiday colours. Got easy jet in from Marrakesh. We are expecting to see a, uh, a certain pilot as well during today's show. Oh, yeah. So get those emotes ready, folks. I'm just currently keeping an eye on a, uh, another wasp that's decided to join us in the, uh, <laughs> in the tower. I've got a feeling them wasps are going to start to get angry soon, aren't they? That's what I'm thinking as well, so I'm just keeping an eye on it. He's, uh, he's gone to ground somewhere. Right. Not sure where he's gone, but he's... Uh, I just think they're getting angry in general because, like you say, like we mentioned earlier, just at the start of the stream, we had not much of a summer, have we? So they must be thinking... Yep. Must be angry. They've probably got no EE signal as well, so they're <laughs> a bit wound up. You know what I mean? He's gone all the way to the T1 car park. I've got no signal. I had to come back. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> John, hope you're doing well, dude. And uh, first prop aircraft arriving of the day, and it's a small one. Uh, oh, no, it's not. It's ATR-72. Definitely looks smaller than that on the screen there, but uh, there we go. ATR-72 in from the Isle of Man. A lot of work on the rudder there on the touchdown. And Matthew tuning in from Macclesfield. Uh, settling in for a few hours of aviation with a freshly frozen packet of white chocolate buttons. Oh, Matthew. right. You're my sort of guy, you know what I mean? Get that chocolate nice and frozen. How about you, Matt? Are you a frozen chocolate kind of guy? Well, if you, if, if, like like I put in the mod chat the other day, like I put this meme in there the other day, oh and right. it stated, like, if chocolate was meant to be in the freezer, yeah? Yeah. You know when you went to the, when you go to the shop in the supermarket and all that? That's where it'd be. You know what I mean? <clears throat> you know what I mean, don't you? Don't no. stay silent on no, this. Mate, listen, don't know nothing about that. No, I'm not a lover. Look, if it goes in the fridge for a little bit, that's all right. But actually freezing it. Guys, can anyone hear Matt? I can't hear Matt at all, you know. I, I don't know. His mic must be broken or something. He's <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I thought we were friends. I tell you what, mate. That's just... That's just, just done me dirty like that on the stream. Daniela, thank you very much for the donation. <laughs> really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, Sandra saying, afternoon, everyone. I've just grabbed a cuppa and uh, a not Mars bar from Little to enjoy with the stream. Friendship should much. not depend on if you freeze your chocolate or not. No, okay, they, don't, they don't. Don't worry about that, mate. We're still mates here. Sweet, sweet. And, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, for me, I think... <laughs> Jets, even Jen's, Jen's put some chocolate for me in the fridge the other day, and even that's not cold enough not for me. Not the same. No, because by the time you got it out, it's already, you know, starting to warm up, and I'm just not a fan. You know what it is? I don't like it kind of melting in your mouth, and it starts to stick everywhere. Mm. I prefer it to be it stay hard while you're crunching it, you know what I mean? Trust me, mate, it'll soon melt when you're digesting it. Yeah, but that's I don't have to worry about that, then. <laughs> There we go. We'll see. Calvin Robson, good afternoon to you. Hope you're doing well. Tasker, great to see you, mate. Slow and, speed, uh, uh, just a slow speed uh, runway inspection taking place there. Yeah, having a good look there, isn't they? And uh, 90, great to see you. Thank you very much for tuning in. 
What's up with the car on the runway? Uh, it's doing a runway inspection. So they do them periodically, um, and that's where they will drive the full length of the runway, and they'll check for any damage, check for any debris that may have been left behind, yep. any little bits of rubber or just anything that can contaminate the runway, basically. That's what they're checking for, and uh, they'll go down the full runway. You'll usually see it a few times within a stream, um, and they'll do that. It's just a safety thing, just like a precautionary check to ensure there's no uh, bits and bobs on the runway that shouldn't be. And as I mentioned before, they might be predominantly doing this now because <coughs> this is the single runway in use now. So, Yeah, switch over to single runway ops. And uh, we are waiting um, for a Jet 2 757, which is holding down Juliet 1. That's going to be heading out to Antalya. And having looked down the approach path, there's nothing until a Ryanair over Bradbury, which is more than enough space to get the uh, 7.5 out. So chances are it's just not ready to go yet. Maybe the cabin's not quite ready. Logan Air Taxi into gate on one <coughs> engine there. Hey, yeah, Mark, we'll keep an eye out for you, mate. Thanks very much, dude. And, uh, yeah, give, uh, give them a call because uh, I know the message you sent us, but they are on single ops now, aren't they? But I guess... I guess you know best. <laughs> <laughs> but um, another cool thing, guys, that's happening tomorrow, uh, we are going to be releasing the very first, and I know a lot of you guys are excited about this. Hi, pal, you all right? Hi, boss. Sajid Raja from Pakistan. I send you a message. There you go. Right. Sajid. Uh, Asad, Asad Ali. Asad. Asad Ali. Yeah, Asad Ali from, uh, where are you from, mate? Pakistan. From Pakistan. From Pakistan. You come visiting today, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Good oh, luck. Nice magic. to see you, mate. Have a good day, boys. Hey, hey good luck. Hey, appreciate you. Have <laughs> good a good luck. time, mate. Have a nice good day. to see you. Awesome. Couple of visitors giving it a cheeky wave there as yes. well. Love that. I love when people have travelled really far and they can just come and say hello. That just blows my mind. You Absolutely. Know? It does mess with your head a little bit, that, mate. Amazing. And, uh, but I, I was quite surprised, to be honest, um, that this... Sorry, I'm just slightly distracted because there's a lad who's just walked past me with about 18... French baguettes in a I bag. I see that. What's going on there? Mate, like? what, are they just going to snack on that? I have never Two seen Two lads that. in a cabin here, you know. Pretty hungry. Um, yeah, I didn't think this was going to be something that was really popular. Maybe it's because I, I'm not really into it myself. But we're going to be releasing our very first newsletter tomorrow, mm. guys, mm -hmm. uh, on the Airliners Live website. We're going to aim to do one per month. And I actually really enjoyed writing my little sections. We've all done a few different sections, and uh, I really enjoyed it. And now I've kind of looked at the nearly finished product, and I'm actually, I'm actually quite proud of it. I think it's quite cool, and it's got loads of information. It lets you guys know what we've been doing uh, throughout the month, changes, things that are coming up. And uh, it's a really good way for you guys to just um, get the sort of monthly roundup from Airliners Live. It's going to be available for everyone. It's not just a VIP thing. Um, and we're going to be publishing that tomorrow on the Airliners Live website. So make sure you give that a read. And uh, most importantly as well, if you drop us a, a message in the live chat next week, uh, and just let us know if, if you want us to continue with those. I really like it, yeah. I must admit. So uh, I'm excited to it's like see it roll out to be honest yeah because like i say the cool. feedback the feedback we've had like put like a post out on youtube and just trying to get put a few feelers out there and the feedback's been pretty good to be honest yeah no looking forward to it where it's like one of them one of them things where you think with the internet age and stuff like that do people have time for like newsletters and all that stuff do they get because they get like the news instantaneously nowadays don't they so they do i think for me the main kind of thing i got whilst i was writing it especially was yeah, this is like quite a good community feature. Yeah. This is a really good way of keeping the community up to date with yeah. what's going on. And, of course. And say, for example, you've missed a show and we only really spoke about it on that show and you get the full roundup. And yeah, it's a really good community thing, I think. I'd, I'm actually uh, quite happy that we're doing it. And how did you find the writing process? I'm all right. I quite enjoy writing and stuff. So I, uh, I don't mind. But yeah, it's... Uh, I think it's going to be good. So we're going to try and do that every month for you guys. So let us know your thoughts when we uh, when we release it. And uh, hey, Mr. XL, great to see you, mate. And uh, hey, a massive Steve. thanks again, dude, for uh, the weekend. I had a really, really good time, mate. I hear and those guys are extremely hospitable. Oh, along, alongside the guys from the uh, Chucks Away Diner, they Ma believe they really, know, really looked uh, after you lot. I'll tell you in a sec after this 7.5. Yeah, and there is another 7.5 about to land right behind it, actually, oh. as well. So we'll let you enjoy this and then we'll talk to you Another uh, 
seven five to land immediately behind. That's in from Tenerife. Um, but no, honestly, Matt, I know you was uh, busy on the yeah, day. Yeah, well, unfortunately, you... and when I, I tell you what, right, I've, I'm not normally a jealous guy, me. Yeah, yeah I'm normally yeah. pretty chilled and stuff like that. Yeah, relaxed and stuff. But when I seen what like, you guys was like seeing you, me, your own you the IRL a... man, I was just like. Yeah, you missed a bit of a blinder there. I'll I'm not going to lie, I hated you guys for a few seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it was good. It was really good. The, the guys put on an absolutely awesome uh, bit of hospitality for us. They got um, a, an awesome scaffold tower built from the donated from the uh, scaffold company right next door. Look at the light on this 7.5 dropping in oh, here. Oh, yeah. Wow. The, uh, the view was just epic. Chocks Away Diner was absolutely rammed. Uh, Stu and Lynn were there just chatting and doing interviews with us and everything, taking pictures. And the view, man, oh, I've spoke about it in the newsletter, so wait for the newsletter, guys. Oh. But it was great. Really, really good. If you, if you didn't miss that show, folks, go and watch it back on the YouTube channel because it was, it was really good. Jet 275 dropping into Manchester with the Western Pennines in the back of shot there. Yeah, nice heavy braking as well. So it's going to be getting out of Bravo Delta in front of us, which is the rapid exit taxiway. And uh, the difference is with there is it's uh, much less of a tight turn off the runway onto this. So the aircraft can approach it at a bit of a higher speed and uh, brake in the section where they are now. Well, let's listen in to this awesome 75 in from Tenerife. Thousand watching already. Welcome wow. folks. Welcome in everybody. Thanks for joining us. Info coming into our show critical chat that uh, Captain Mark has pushed. Me. So we'll uh, keep an eye open for him on the uh, on the apron and uh, having a look down the approach path. Next arrival uh, for us he is a two Ian from Prevetsa and with an easy jet lining up behind him from Milan on the ILS. And if you are enjoying today's show, guys, if you can give it a like for us, we'd really appreciate it. And uh, head over to Airliners Live on Twitter and share the post. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and uh, get as many people in here as we possibly can. We'd really appreciate that. I'm going to put a bit of work in on the, fast, on the last few hundred feet there, aren't I? Yeah, I think there is a, a bit, bit of, of a deceptive breeze that we're kind of missing out on there at the RVP. I say this most streams, but I think, it, like you say, it's Mr. Langston himself described that breeze coming off the top of the terminal and stuff there, off the car park. So. Yeah, slightly turbulent as it ripples over all the buildings there. Quite a fast approach speed there on that max. And almost certainly it'll roll past us here at the RVP. Really breezy and donny, is it? Aha. Uh -huh. But yeah, no, we had an awesome time. So thanks again, guys, um, for everyone who uh, got involved on the hardened stream. Chocks away dying, a massive shout out. Viewer numbers, were, Lynn. viewer numbers were brilliant for that as well, it? even though it was like a, only like an hour stream and stuff. And uh, Stu's laughing his head off that we got him running on camera as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, give a zoom in on that easy jet then, uh, mate, that's uh, on the taxi. Of course. Out. Should have a uh, very important man on board. You know what to do, chat. Dave Thomas, hello, great to see you. Ambassador Ali, 
Great to meet you, mate. Thanks for coming and saying hello, big man. Appreciate that. Tom saying the weather's not too great down in Cornwall. Hey. Hey, nice little, uh, nice little hello there from the front. Love it. You know the dance, ladies and gents. <laughs> Might know the dance, but I don't know where he's going. Don't know going. where he's going. Has he got lost? <laughs> Where's he going? <laughs> he's causing havoc here. Him. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I'm sure he's got a very good plan in mind. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he has. There is another easy jet landing, ladies and gents, but... Well, sacrifice. I'm afraid this takes priority. I'm afraid. Can't get a quick glimpse of it while he... Yeah, he's off to Greg's. <laughs> Stop at Greg's on the way past. <laughs> Satnav says, turn left at the latest intersection. <laughs> There's a crew on board. There's your man. Trip, mate. Have a good one, boys. From November Papa, vacating in front of us in from Milan. And uh, massive thanks to everyone who's sending support in already on today's stream. Need to try and uh, catch up on that where I can. I'm pretty sure I have missed some. And uh, my my YouTube does this often. You well, sometimes. Isn't it? Let me see the previous support, and sometimes it won't. Did you get up to Malky before? Uh, yes, I believe so. Okay, so then we had Daniela, who donated nine checks, whatever it is, I'm not too sure. Susie yes, B, gifting one. her one sub. Uh, Seb, member for 10 months. Daniela with another nine. Jenny Watts, member for 29 months. Ooh. She's getting closer and closer to that Wookie, Jen. Proper OG, Jen. And I'll crack on with the others after this. Jet 275 drops in. Alpha Bravo. I've got it now. I've got, got it, it now. I've got it. Good lad. <clears throat> Another 757 being treated today. So, it looks like there was actually a reason for that, folks. Right. Because look where he's had to stop. <gasps> uh oh. So all of you in the chat saying he did that just for Airliners Live, I would like to point out that he is now holding in the EasyJet parking zone. One of the many. So uh, that certainly wouldn't have been for Airliners Live. That's uh, looks like, unfortunately, he may be waiting for a, uh, an update on the old slot. Huge thanks to John Russell for supporting the channel for 11 months. One month to go until that red tail badge, dude. Thanks so Great John. to see you guys on Sunday. What a day. It was awesome, wasn't it, John? Great to see you as well, mate. And uh, Hakan, thank you very much for the two months saying love the evening shows. Thank you, dude. 
So do we, I can. We're going to miss these, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully, uh, we should have a really good send off for them tomorrow. Yep. A certain Mr. Langston. Sets it means a, he's holding zone. Sets a lonely figure there. Yeah, I know, Malky. Listen, I'd, I'd like to believe it was all for me as well, Malky, but unfortunately <laughs> not, dude. Unfortunately not. Uh, Daniel, tuning in from Sheffield. Welcome into you. Charles, currently watching by the pool in Palmer de Mallorca. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Lovely jubbly. Hope we're having a great time. And uh, also returning, Charles, for eight months. Thank you very much for the uh, Airlines Live support. And James Boss, yes, there is a article about that on the Airliners Live website, which is uh, which is cool. Keeping our fingers crossed for the return of Monarch, they certainly seem to be uh, giving it a good go, at least. Anyway, I see a lot of activity on LinkedIn. And uh, Group Sixty Two. Also returning to Premium Economy Membership. Thank you very much. Mrs. Airline is live. Hello. Hope the meeting was all right. And uh, just vacating the runway is a uh, Air Hamburg uh, Legacy 600. In from Nice. Nice looking, that, isn't it? Lovely beast, uh, Bizjet that. Getting off the signature at Manchester. And Yorkshire Rose, hello, great to see you. Debbie Clark, good afternoon all. Uh, and afternoon, Kevin Boyer, if you're watching as well. There you go, from Debbie, a little shout out there. Do you catch up with all the sport, Martin? Um, I think I have caught all the way up now, yeah. Uh, group 62, yeah, I've got that one. Yep, so. okay, mate. Uh, Nick, welcome in as well, good afternoon to you. And uh, Pilot Elite, thanks very much for tuning in on the Twitch channel as well. Afternoon, Regan. Has Carl finished his flagging? I believe Carl were doing some flagging earlier today. Oh, yeah? Yeah, flagging the uh, back garden and stuff. Nice, how are you getting on? You Not getting me, on, Carl, it was Carl. Mod Carl. Easy to drive, but such down here at Manchester. 23 right. Big Al, good afternoon as well. Good afternoon, dude. The easy jet just touching down. Next to land, in from Lanzarote. And having a look down the taxiway, we've got the jet to uh, 73 out to Larnaca. And that's followed out by a Ryanair for Lanzarote as well. Some nice lighting conditions to kick off your midweek show. Perfect. Hoping it stays. Similar throughout the rest of the day's show. And Samir, good afternoon to you. Misha Bissi, welcome in. Tuning in from the Czech Republic. Great to have you with us. And uh, Rossi's left knee. <laughs> good afternoon from Yorkshire. You got a few scrapes on that knee. <laughs> <laughs> And Ryan saying, uh, afternoon lads, top show as always. I've got my sister-in-law on the EasyJet flight to Antalya. Hey. Roger Dodger, we'll keep an eye open for that. And Ben Russell, great to see you. The 
and uh, I've been working the last couple of days on another video for the Airliners Lounge channel, which we'll be recording next week. Hi. Uh, I've actually found it really interesting to write this script, um, and I'll tell you a little bit about it after this 7-3 departs. Certainly was, wasn't it? But uh, another wasp in here, mate. They like it in here, don't they? Um, yeah, so I've been doing uh, quite a bit of research on this video because I think a video like what we're doing needs to be right factually. We want to spend a bit of extra time just researching it. Um, but what we've been looking into, uh, which I think is quite interesting and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it, is um, obviously all aviation accidents are quite bad and a lot of lessons are learned from them. But there are key accidents in aviation in history that have prompted massive change yeah. in not only <clears throat> regulation but aircraft design. Yeah, of course. And um, we're going to be taking a look at a few of those and seeing uh, what happened and how what happened changed aviation forever. Right. And uh, that's the topic of the video. And I've picked out about five um, accidents, which I believe, uh, in my opinion, had a massive impact. And um, we're going to be... I've pretty much wrote the script already. Um, obviously, like I say, we're just fact-checking everything again and uh, sort of optimising the script. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be recording it next week. I'm really looking forward to it as well. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to get the video out and fully edited before we go away. So it may be a video that releases towards the end of September. Um, but we'll keep you guys up to date, of course, as well. Um, and another big news regarding the Airliners Live channel, uh, sorry, the Airliners Lounge channel, is uh, thanks to all you guys tuning in and watching and all the new viewers as well, because we have got quite a lot of new viewers on that channel that don't necessarily watch Airliners Live. Uh, that channel is finally, after a lot of hard work, partnered on YouTube and yes. is able to uh, cover its costs, which is what we kind of sacrificed when we split. Remember, we split all the channels yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. And that meant that we uh, weren't earning any money on the content that we were making on those channels anymore. But we've worked hard enough now where that is now uh, sorted and it's going to start hopefully covering costs. And we're really excited for that. And we have opened up memberships as well on the Lounge channel. Not for you Airliners Live viewers, because you guys obviously support us here. But for any of the new viewers who watch us solely on that channel, they can help cover the cost of the content. And as I say, our content is also uh, generating income as well. So, uh, yeah, we're really, uh, really excited for that. And it'll be exciting to see some new members as well. Yeah. Coming through on there. I'm interested to see, like you say, like, because we've split the channels up and we've got, like, the, obviously, simulate and stuff like that now. Yeah. Really going to be interested to see, like, and branch out and see which channel attracts, like you say, more subs and stuff like that. Yeah, it's going to be really, really interesting. And, uh, yeah, really looking forward to seeing how it, uh, how it progresses. Andy has, uh, Andy has arrived. Hey! He's uh, now. He's not got a microphone yet, so he'll be on with us in a moment. But As, uh, uh, Asad, thank you very much, mate. I know you just came over and said hello to us, and he sent in a Kofi donation, saying hi. I was thinking before to see you, and today I complete my wish to see and talk to you guys. Thank you so much. Awesome. Um, really, uh, thank you so much. You guys really work hard, and I'm a very big fan of yours. Thank you very much, dude. Listen, if you're still around. Um, about 7.15, yeah, 7.30 p.m. Uh, make sure you come and grab a quick picture with us, mate, because uh, it'd be great to see you and uh, get a picture with you as well. Ryanair, about to land it. The light at that height is just perfect, isn't it? Thank you very much for the Kofi donation, mate. Really appreciate that. Uh, 
Uh, Michael Plowman tuning in from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to you. Hey, uh, uh, Ivan, I don't think we've been too lucky the last few weeks, mate. But we've got lucky today, that's for sure. Uh, Dave Thomas, yes, the Tenerife uh, disaster is uh, certainly included in that video. That had a massive, huge, a huge impact yeah. on, uh, mainly on phraseology and uh, and uh, how how pilots and ATC talk to yeah, each other. Yeah. That that changed a lot of things with regards to that. So that's absolutely in there. And uh, next to depart, Jet 273, heading out to Gran Canaria. I'm going to leave you with Matt for a moment, guys, just so mm -hmm. I can get Andy uh, Norris online. I won't be a second. Another fairly heavy Jet 273 there. Using plenty of the runway. The last two uh, Jet 273s. Mine and Andy just meeting the masses here at the RVP. Not quite signing autographs yet, but having a few pictures taken. Afternoon Jill, afternoon Peter Carroll, good afternoon Mixter, thanks for all joining us for this the penultimate late show of this season. Easy jet waiting to uh, enter the active runway there. Malky, who needs fame when all we need is Matt Cam? <laughs> Afternoon, Darren. Yeah, the approaches look mega. Like they get coming down to like 200, 100 feet. Look absolutely sublime. Mate. The engines are lit up and everything. I mean, first world problems, chat. Oh yeah. I turned the brightness down on my screen last night when I was. Uh, Doing what I shouldn't have been doing and working in bed, uh -oh. and uh, I couldn't couldn't see me mouse. <laughs> Turn it back over again. Uh, Andy's here now. Hello. Yay. Hello. How's it going? Get All in right. there, Andy. Thank you, Matt, for covering. Appreciate Not a it. problem, mate. 
I'll jump on in a minute whenever whenever you want. No issue, mate. That's my phone. Talatis, PC, about to drop in, putting the work in on the last, last few feet there. You see the message that Mark sent? I did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a scum. <laughs> <laughs> Blocking our shot. Um, Look at that. So, apparently today, have we had the air tanker yet? Yes, the air tanker, right. The um, one that air tanker have sent today. How weird is that? I think that's only done, like, a one-off flight to, like, Paphos or something. Correct. I don't, think, I don't even think it's departed yet, Andy. Yeah, it's, it's just pushed back. I've just oh, found it. Oh, awesome. Okay. Um, but it's got... It's got a Jet 2 call sign, but it's going back to Bryce Norton, so that obviously won't oh, be... Oh, so that's returning now. Yeah, obviously it won't be a Jet 2 flight, unless they're doing package holidays to... Uh, Breeze. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> I'd go on that, I'll be honest. Uh, yeah, I'd exactly. Spotting that. trip, get to go airside. <laughs> Oh, There's probably not many people in in the in the what would you call it civilian world who have been airside at a military base. No, like no. I would love to. Have any of you ever been to Bryce Norton before? I think Martin, you said you've been to is it Milden Hall and no, it's a Milden Hall and uh, Lake and Yeah, well, I've not done Bryce. No, it was on my list though. Yeah, because obviously they get a lot heavier. Movements there, don't they? Um, I, I still want to go. I think Mildenhall would be my choice. Mildenhall's really cool. There's a great little campsite there. Um, that basically, when you turn up, obviously we weren't camping. We were staying about 25 minutes away. Um, you can go into the campsite. Oh yeah. And it's got toilets and everything like that. And there's a little donation bucket. So yeah, you can cool. just put a donation in and you can basically go on the campsite and they've got like an old trailer with ladders underneath it so you can go on the trailer and borrow a ladder and go up and take yes. your picture. Oh, that's so fun. I just went there, uh, dropped a tenner in, stayed there literally for the full day. Wow, that's um, genius. I really, like that. really, really good idea. Yeah, you could be. You could just sell ladders around air bases, couldn't you? That, <laughs> that'd be uh, just stand there selling spare ladders. Yeah. For a pretty lucrative business. Or we'll rent them out for the day. <laughs> That's it. Get a family pack. <laughs> Get a little one for the kids. British Airways shuttle service just touching down here on Twenty Three Right at Manchester. Gosh, I'm looking at the the image on on the stream. It looks so good today. Ah, Crystal. Yeah, Joanne says you're in detention for turning yeah. up late. Oh, oh, right. okay. Apologies, apologies, guys. Unbelievable. Overtime. Doc wages and now he's got a detention. What's <laughs> it? I've nothing left by the end of this year. <laughs> the weather's shaping up quite nicely though, because it's not too hot that it's going to be hazy. Well, up here on it, it's just like like Martin mentioned before, the slight breeze, but it's perfect. The it breeze is. is just nice. And uh, can we get some ten out of tens in the chat, guys? Oh yeah. And uh, you can be proud of this because this is your this is your day, mate. The very first ever. And we can clip this. The first ever member supporter of the Airliners Lounge channel that got made uh, a partner today. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> is Mr. Tony Parkinson. Ah, oh, Tony oh. P, man. Thank you very much, Tony. The first ever member of the Airliners Lounge channel. Thank yeah. you, dude. Cheers, Tony. And as I say, guys, a lot of you supporters on Airliners Live already don't feel like you need to go and be members on that channel. The memberships on the Airliners Lounge channel were targeted at our viewers who only watch the Airliners Lounge content, because there is quite a few of them who only watch that content, so um, don't don't be signing up to both, please. Yeah, definitely. There's nothing, unless you really just want to support yeah, unless, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unless you like Tony P and just like supporting us on exactly everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Mad luck. laughs> yeah it was guy. quite nice to get the, offered a partnership, though, so, so soon into it. And, uh, yeah, it just kind of allows us to go further and further to, to making more content on that channel so excellent we're loving it yeah we've worked hard to get that partnered get it to where it is and I was saying earlier on about the videos we've got in the works should be filmed in the next few weeks yeah really good one easy jet from Palma de Mallorca touching down A320 Golf Echo Zulu Golf X-Ray on the flights the flight number is 2022 it's a good job we didn't do a stream on Monday <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> it was a bit quiet, wasn't it? Believe it or not, right? Me and Martin, how long have we been on the air now, chat? We haven't even discussed that once yet. No, we haven't. We not. No, no, no. We haven't touched on it. That was pretty wild. Because I, I actually was tempted to come down and do a bit of filming in the evening. Because mm -hmm. uh, I kind of had the evening off. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, that happened. 
<laughs> well, funnily enough, I, I don't know. I, I was actually on Southside. I was down at Wooden Lane, just trying to get a few of the last departures off uh, 23 left there. And I noticed like the runway lights went off at about time that had been about quarter to three. And I thought, hey, up, what's going on here? Like, you know, ah. turn the scanner on. And that was it. All were, all, all were revealed in the space of about five minutes. Oh. The chaos and stuff. So, no, no. Yep. Pack up. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's part, a lot of people who probably wanted to watch a stream that you know to see what the chaos is like. But it would have been so boring. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Tasker saying my sc- uh, scanner was virtually silent all day on Monday. Yeah. Virtually. Wow. It was. Mine was actually. Yeah. So for those who don't know, maybe you're living under a rock. <laughs> maybe you don't follow the news, especially here in the UK. Uh, we had a kind of a like a, a blackout of Nats. Uh, what was the service called? It was like an automatic. Routing. Yeah, so Nats have an automatic flight planning uh, processing system, which basically means when a flight plan is submitted to the system, and uh, every aircraft needs to file a flight plan. So that, gets, that, cross- that gets filed before the flight even takes off and everything done. It right? exactly. That's filed by the dispatcher, so they will be able to then as they fly through different airspaces everybody knows where they're going what waypoints they're doing what route they're taking and um, basically Nats have a system where when a flight plan submitted to the system it automatically shows all the relevant information to the people in the tower mm-hmm. um, and that failed and they weren't able to see that stuff so they had to they had to do it all manually and um Obviously, you can imagine going from a auto, fully automated system like that to a manual system, just the workload was just incredible. Yeah. And uh, Just have, like, just like, like you said, the pressure on the workload had just made it, forced it to be half the workload, didn't it? Cause of well, what they had to do was to maintain safety, they had to reduce the number of flights yeah. operating in the yeah. airspace just so that they could keep everything safe and process the flight plans. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Three minor lined up. And Hayden, thank you very much, dude, for becoming member number two hey. <laughs> on the airline as long as channel you, Buster. Get in there, Buster. <laughs> Cheers, man. To so Jimmy on the roll out to uh, Antalya. A corrupt flight plan caused the issue. Really, Hayden? No way. Wow. That's what the rumours say. Really quiet. Yeah, going Dream really well. Departure there. I, I checked me, me mixer to make sure I didn't have the microphone. <laughs> I, I, I looked at that as well. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> quick glance. I was like, it was the mic off. So I think the ramifications what's, of that. What's op- going on on the apron over there? What's that? Oh yeah, I see some water being sprayed. Where am I? Oh, and also we got the uh, air. Uh, he means uh, just right to the tower between the tower and the. Oh, uh, it's just stopped. Yeah, it's just stopped now. Keep an oh, eye on it. It's back on. Oh, between the tower and the Premier Terminal, between the engine run-up bay. Oh, yeah, I see. Also got taxi and out at the uh, yeah. air tanker A330-200, I believe. <laughs> Heading back to Bryce Norton. It's a, not in the Jet 2 branding, but I think it did a Flight 4 Jet 2. Oh, well, that's not the toilet system on one of the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <of> the <laughs> so, yeah, the, the ramifications of that failure were pretty much mass disruption across the country yeah because uh, to provide a lot of the air traffic air control systems across all of the UK and yeah pretty much here in Manchester it was like some airlines had massive disruption you look at flight radar you know you got the little the little red dot whatever something's quite late like everything had the red dot next to it. yeah yeah it was um, it was pretty bad I mean even BA were advising passengers that if you were flying short haul to not even leave for the airport yeah. um, it was yeah it was pretty pretty crazy um, yeah. but some membership to catch up on a massive thanks to Sean for returning for three months of business class saying my favourite stream outside of the US cheers gentlemen thank you very much Sean that means a lot mate really cheers, appreciate Sean. that thank you. there are a lot of us now and uh, Linda thank you very much for the two pound donation saying tell Andy he's getting a punny for being late <laughs> there you go <laughs> I won't be late again. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for that. You guys uh, aren't letting it go. And a uh, very warm welcome and thank you to uh, Barbara for returning for five months of business class membership. Saying, most delighted to be part of this channel. Love the interaction of the hosts to the viewers. Keep up the great work on the streams and thanks for the USA shows. Thank you very much, Barbara. It's Cheers, great to have Barbara. you with us this evening. Thank you very much. 
Yeah, uh, thank you. Steve Rafferty returning for four months, saying great stream as always. Get thank in you there, very Steve. much. Thank you. And Linda gifting an Airliners Life membership. Hey. Thank you very much, Linda. Thank you, Linda. And right at the end there as well, we also had Sean upgrading his membership to business class. No oh, way, get in there, Sean. Thank you. Lovely, noisy ATR, taxiing in front of the RBP. Yeah, lovely Aer Lingus ATR 72. That livery, very similar to the livery that uh, Monarch have just uh, announced as well. Yeah, it is actually. Easy jet to sleep it off. Uh, I seen a question in the chat earlier as well from Darren. Because I put a post out today saying, what's your favourite BA aircraft? Um, and he asks, what's your, yours, uh, your guys' favourite BA aircraft? Mine um, would always be Landor. Oh, the Landor 74. 747. Yeah, I've got, I've, I've, yeah, I think it is just yeah, it's just the Landor for me. Yeah, yeah it's good. Just something about it. But it's in the current iconic. fleet, I'd uh, probably... A 321. Mid, yeah, the 321, the Neo is really nice. But yeah. the 350 is also way up there, so I think it's joint for me. Uh, Hayden, thank you very much for the £2 donation, saying can't wait to see you again in February at the TAS Fair. Yeah, it's going to be good, mate. I'm definitely not thinking about that yet, though. <laughs> I'm just going to put that out there. I don't want reminding about it. I don't want telling about it until at least six December the 23rd. Yeah. Dreading it before, six months before you <laughs> Yeah. And Alex, thank you very much, dude, for returning for 13 months, saying love the stream. Keep up the great work as usual. Thanks, Thanks Alex. Thanks, Alex. Cheers, Alex. And yeah. uh, Ian Newt as well, just upgraded to business class membership. Wow, lots of people supporting the stream today on your Super Wednesday show. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Ian. Yeah, I was in the TAS Winged Words magazine. They announced the next dates for the TAS Fair, so um, that'll be uh, in Feb. I'll quickly check what the dates are now, read them out to you. Whilst you're looking for that, I'll give a massive thank you to Sasha for dropping a £10 Airlines Live donation, saying, Hi, I'm Martin, Andy, and Matt. Is that Hope certain, you all have a good uh, bank holiday weekend. Yeah, sorry we to interrupt you there, Martin. Is that a, certain Mr. Langston on the move there? It is, yeah. He just started moving. He started engines and taxis. Sorry to, start sorry to interrupt you there. So thanks right. a lot, Sasha. Thank you, Sasha, for the £10 donation. Yes, we ended up having quite a relaxed bank holiday because uh, we couldn't go out for half of the day on Monday due to this fun run thing that was happening. Uh, and then <laughs> uh, <laughs> the weather wasn't great the day before, so we ended up just having a bit of a, a, bit of a chill, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know what we did. I think we had a chill as well. And as Andy mentioned before, it's on the pushback. It's now at the start of 23 right. It's the air tanker. Yeah, let's catch this. Mm -hmm. A rare departure to see these without the livery on. rotations probably because it's pretty empty yeah yeah just heading out to Bryce Norton returning the aircraft back allegedly that was doing a flight on behalf of Jet 2 because one of the Jet 2 aircraft have um, has a fault with it at the moment okay I've heard rumours that uh, is it G-Sun B I think one of, one of the Jet 2 A321s had a compressor stall while down in Bodrum right okay heading back to Manchester and I've heard allegedly that it's pretty bad and oh, a new engine oh yikes yeah a new oh, engine is needed that is not what you want to hear is it oh, oh. 
Meanwhile. <laughs> Barbara, going in again with some incredible support to the Airliners Live channel. Let's get some Airliners Live hearts in the chat. Mega bongs, you know what to do, guys. As Barbara, a massive supporter, comes in with a $100 Airliners wow. Live donation. Saying such a great team effort at Airliners Live. Please keep it up for us all. Stay safe always. Many hugs to you all and the moderators as well. Barbara, thank you very, very much for your long-term support of the channel. Huge thanks, Barbara. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much for an extremely generous donation again. Cheers, Barbara. That will uh, help the channel out massively. As uh, I mentioned to you every week, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. it really does help the channel a huge amount. We love to keep all of our content completely free. We don't keep members-only chat. We don't do members-only abroad shows. We want the full community in with us. And uh, it's donations from all of our community that help us to do that. So thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you again, Barbara. Thanks so much. Do you want me to jump up, Matt, after this uh, next departure? Maybe? Absolutely. If you want me? No so problem. That will be a good, good time. And JD Parvin saying good afternoon. I love your streaming. Good job. Thank you, mate. Great to have you with us. Thanks again, Barbara. Cheers, Barbara. This Jet 217 from Tenerife in the beautiful dot com grey and red scheme. Yeah, classic. Love it. Yeah, Seb in the chat confirming that it was uh, G Sun B that had the issue. So, ah, okay. So that was the first of the Jet 2 321 Neos that got delivered. Yeah, not a good, uh, not a good start there. I know. Well, not something that's common, right, with the leap engines, from what I've heard anyway. It really isn't. I mean, look no, like no. EasyJet have many, many Neos in there for you. How often does that happen? It just seems strange for a fairly new aircraft, doesn't it? It does, but here's another one on the way out to Paphos. G Sun D on the red. Sunny delight. <laughs> I was uh, <laughs> I was never allowed Sunny Delight as a kid. Why? Me, me mum and dad said it made me bounce off the walls. I think it was quite sugary e back in the day. Back in the day, it yeah, was e terrible. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was. It was. It was like luminous. <laughs> Remember, it was on the shelf. It was like glowing. Because you, you just think it's orange juice, but then it's just like it's just packed in it. It's like fruit punch. Yeah. So yeah, Steve's saying what's the task date? It's the twenty fourth and twenty fifth of February, twenty twenty four. I just get this arrival, Andy. Then we'll swap over. You like me? Perfect. Yeah, twenty fourth, twenty fifth. That's Saturday, Sunday. As per usual, Airliners Live will only probably be doing this Saturday. So that's the 24th of February 2024. Get in your calendars now, everybody, in the chat. Looks like uh, a Sun Express Max just touched down here. Amazing. And if you have any calendar now, at least uh, you've got plenty of time to, to prepare for that. I, uh, Sasha, yes, your donation uh, did come through. We gave it a quick readout a minute ago. But thanks again for the very generous £10 donation. Just checking if we all had a great bank holiday, which, uh, as I say, we uh, we had quite a chilled one. Thank you very much. Thanks again, Sasha. wasn't really the weather for much else, Sasha. <laughs> it really wasn't. Yeah. But, uh, thanks again for your donation. We really appreciate it. Yeah, and Seb said it's been stuck there for five days now. The Leap engines seem to be more reliable, uh, although rather than the Pratt & Whitney options. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I'm very rarely, very rarely seen any issue like that. So, um, fingers crossed it's not too bad. Right, I'll jump on now, Matt. Yeah, I'll do a quick swap over in uh, Stu just saying, Lynn says, too much sunny delight turns you orange. That's Tango, in it? <laughs> is it Tango? <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Good luck. <laughs> the Airliners Live A380 is now due at 7.27. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on it, guys. Um, as I say, we, uh, we should be able to catch that. Um, as long as there's no more delays on it. But hopefully it will uh, sort of build up a little bit of extra time if possible. Uh, we're lined up on the departure is the uh, Ryanair out to Malm.
I can see what people mean about the uh, cinematic sky. It's yeah, super it's pretty. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Very pretty. Logan Air, ATR 72, rolling next to take off. Super nice lighting as well. That's only going to get better as the show goes on, hopefully. Yeah, fingers crossed. Although there is a bit of greyness creeping in. That ATR on the way out to the Isle of Man. Yeah, the shortest route from Manchester Airport. Just in the Irish Sea. I'm not sure how long it takes in an ATR, but... I think EasyJet, I don't know if they still do it, but they certainly did do an e a, a Isle of Man flight. Uh, no, Captain Mark's number two to depart behind a Jet 2 out to uh, Kos. Yeah, we're going to zoom in on that as well. Yeah, gorgeous lighting today, so I'll be getting some clips. You got your camera with you, Mark? I do, yeah. Yeah, I've not got it out of the bag yet. I was uh, waiting for just a bit more uh, sun to creep out, but I'll get it out short. <laughs> kind of just enjoying watching today, to be honest. I think when you're doing a lot of photography, it is nice sometimes to just sit back and just watch the planes. Isn't it? What's it? It's like when you're at a concert and you get them people who just record the whole thing on their phone. It's like, but then you just watch the concert through your phone, like you. You know what I mean? Like, you might as well be sat at home watching it. Exactly, yeah. You get to uh, save your eardrums that way as well. <laughs> yeah, so that, that'll be uh, the flight in question over there, the uh, of the orange variety. Just uh, balance up the tripod a little bit. Hey, Brody, yeah, it was great to meet you, mate. Thank you very much for coming to say hello on the weekend. Yeah, what a surprise that was. Cheers for coming down, Brody. And uh, for those who may be just tuning in, uh, tomorrow we have a bonus show for you guys. Um, as tomorrow is the final late opening day here at the RVP. Uh, so we'll be aiming to go live about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And we'll be uh, chilling right through till uh, 7.30. Uh, bringing you all of the aviation action. Yeah, nice long show to celebrate what's been a great run of the, the late openings at the RVP. Yeah, massive uh, shout out to the guys at the RVP for working late as well. Let's get some 10 out of 10s in the chat for all the crew working here till 8pm at night to give us this awesome uh, view. And uh, we've certainly tried our best to make the most of it. We're jet to holding for the Ryanair that's on approach and uh, that's come from Cologne, operated by Malta Air. Uh, cheers back off. Appreciate that, mate. Thanks for the heads up, dude. And Ian Barron, good afternoon to you. Thank you for tuning in. And Jack, great to see you on the Twitch channel as well. Uh, Joe, yeah, it's to do with the shutter speed of the camera and the way it syncs up with the uh, rotation of the props. If you, uh, it's quite interesting on helicopters, especially if you get it just right, uh, they don't actually move and the helicopter just looks like it's floating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is a really weird uh, little trick of the uh, lens. It's a wild one, that, isn't it? Yeah, that's why photographers like to slow the shutter speed down just to give it that blur. Hey, good afternoon, Simone. Great to see you. We do it too on the, on the ATRs sometimes. Sometimes on the, the sunnier days like today. It's a bit harder to get the props blurred because you need quite a wide, sorry, a narrow aperture and a low ISO. Sometimes even that isn't enough. So, yeah. Jet 2, 737800 in the dot com scheme next to take off. 
and Michelle looking forward to tomorrow's show because uh, she finishes work at 2 so that's her afternoon sorted awesome get in sounds good to me that's on show yeah I'm not sure what it is either John I'm not sure what it is mate it's quite nice though isn't it Hey, good to see you, Carol. Hey, Carol. Hopefully these aircraft uh, are going to get lit up a bit more now as this cloud passes uh, to the south of the airport. Yeah, I'll be honest, I'll take that cloud as a backdrop yeah. 100% I'd have some of that and then uh, get a bit of sun from behind that'll look, uh, that'll look really cool yeah, yeah. and Michelle returning to Premium Economy membership thank you very much Michelle really appreciate that I'm scared to press the wrong button so <laughs> hold on is it? Hold on. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> thank you Michelle really appreciate that especially when you consider Sunday we couldn't even see like you say you couldn't see couldn't the see, ten see, eyes there. Yeah, like what's going on like <laughs> <laughs> I was saying to uh, the lads at work I said um he said, oh, you got nice weather for it today. I said, mate, you won't believe it. I said, but i got gloves on the side of my camera bag from the weekend. <laughs> Who's on this? Who's on this taking off here? Because uh, I took him to Harden with me. I thought, oh, in case Andy needs some gloves or if I take over and need some gloves. <laughs> and then today, it's beautiful. EasyJet flight to Antalya. Yeah. Awesome. Take off there. Have a safe trip, mate. Great right. stuff. Cheers for the wave as well. <laughs> and Dave, thank you very much, mate. Returning for 35 wow. months of Airliners Live membership. Dave, that is a long time, dude. Jeez. It is. Get in uh, there, Dave. Nearly got your Wookiee badge. You certainly have. That is a long, long membership. Yeah, I think he's one month away from that, I think. Massive thanks, Dave. Thank you so much. What's that? What's that noise? I don't know. Someone mucking about a hose in the uh, engine run-up bay, I think. Is that what that is? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's a weird noise. I have never heard that before. Yeah. Someone definitely knocking about. Yeah. Or <laughs> well, someone <laughs> blasting uh, water over there before, wasn't there? Yeah. <laughs> don't know. Kiwi man, hello. Thanks for tuning in. Dan saying I live in hard and gutted that I missed it we'll um, head over to our YouTube channel and uh, just take a look back at the stream it's available for you guys to watch on there if you did miss our stream from the weekend Dutch Pride Boeing 73 KLM about to drop in here in Manchester just catching a balloon get your guesses in the chat guys what is this have a listen just catching a balloon by the way flying across the approach oh yeah <laughs> bit random I right, stop now it's not on the external mic, is it? That's true. It sounds like someone with a hose or airline or something. Oh, that looks glorious in the sun. Oh, going to no. roll past, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah, I'd say the same. It does sound like some sort of compressed gas being released. Yeah, it does, yeah. I agree. Weird. Madness. Chris, you race. We don't disclose which um, actual specific equipment we use on the streams, but we do pre predominantly use Sony equipment. Apart from this guy on the mic. He doesn't yeah, use Sony. Yeah, sorry about Something wrong with sorry it. About that. Uh, Andy Hitchin, good afternoon to you. Great to see you, dude. And now uh, Laurie's gone into alert mode, having some lunch. You know the rules. No lunch unless you share it with a group. What I think tell got? I think tell there, uh, tell who's at the on the mound at the RVP. I think him and Audrey are sharing a bit of lunch here now. A bit of a romantic dinner oh, on yeah, one of the two got? Oh, yeah, I bit of a romantic dinner for two there on the on what the mound. Can we, what can we spot here? Looks like a nice bottle of coke going on. There's no uh, <laughs> there's, there's no crisps. wine on the go yet, though I haven't seen the wine coming out. What flavour Christmas have you got there? 
Well, they both on the Chris now. Both on the Chris, well, sandwich on the go. Oh, wow, did they say giving? Did they not even use any runway? Oh, they've been spotted. They, they know. They're, they're we're on to you. We're on to you. He's got a sign. We're on to you. We're on to you. Wow, look at this. Look at that. Rocket ship. The uh, Hamburg in out of here. And that happening as incidentally. Another uh, Hamburg with a very, well, practically the same library. He's on, now on the ILS. Going to be in the stratosphere soon. Yeah. Well, on it. Her old uh, prime that. Jenny just had the cottage pie, was it? Jen and Jen. 4,000 feet per minute on that. Gosh, I thought you were going to say live, <laughs> live viewers. I know. Wow. 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 Yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> minute. Some crime rate, that, isn't it? That was nuts. Rapid. That thing was only on the tarmac for a couple of seconds <laughs> on the runway there yeah speaking of Laurie um, obviously we're visiting her state in the United States uh, next week and I did have a look at the weather and it's pretty it's pretty scary dude <laughs> Wait, not for me no. we, we are not ready for that <laughs> for that weather <laughs> oh, I'll let you know in a second guys for tuning in from uh, sunny Southern California looks like a nice day on the other side of the pond I mean it's as nice as we're going to get this is as good as it yeah. is this is about as good as it's got it's this w- summer for us one yeah. of the warmer days this isn't it yeah, yeah. well I was saying that to um, someone over there I was speaking to someone because they, they were saying um, about the weather and that because and, we're going on Friday next mm-hmm. week mm-hmm. and the weather when we arrive in Houston is going to be about um, 38 degrees Celsius, wow. but it says feels like 44 degrees wow. <laughs> mate, Celsius. I, you know, mate. You know what I said to him when he told me that? I said, You can keep it, mate. That's not for me, <laughs> mate. You, you get burnt in the clouds, mate, when it's cloudy, <laughs> mate. So you're screwed over there. Yeah. Lad. To be fair, we have had temperatures like that in the UK. We had upper 30s before, haven't we? It's, it, it's like we always say, though, about like Texas and stuff like that. Like, can be it can be that temperature one day but then yeah, you get to the night and after. stuff like yeah even like minus yeah. five and stuff yep. like what the hell's going on here like? <laughs> <laughs> i warned you yep yeah so our, our mallorca trip was a bit of climatization to that because that was like mid 30s mm-hmm. so that was mm-hmm. and that was tolerable so yeah that's, but uh... the thing about mallorca is we were just outdoors all day Whereas at least here we're in the car and stuff like that so you can keep it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 that's what i said I'm all right. I'm not jealous about that in the slightest. In Good this, afternoon, Carol and Brian. Sorry, Andy. My car has aircon, right? Yeah. And I've used it Did once. Be, are you going to sleep in it? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, in, in this country, oh, right. I've only used aircon once this summer. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> One day. Mate, the funny thing is this summer, I'm going to sound dead posh here, but I've used my heated seats this summer more than I've used my aircon. <laughs> that says it all, doesn't yeah. it? You can use your heated seats most this summer than you did in the winter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's, I said to Andy last week, I said, I'm looking forward to the winter just so we can get some sunshine. <laughs> they might be cold, but at least the sun will be out. Well, that's yeah. it. When, uh, were you there when we were looking with the fire guys at old streams and mm. saying it looked, looked better in the winter than it does now? Yeah, it's ridiculous, isn't it? I felt a bit bad, though, because we were looking at doing, like, loads of shows from Barton this summer. Um, but it's just not been the weather for it at all. It's not impossible, has it? No. To be honest, I, I think Barton is... Uh, I've not seen much in the way of uh, traffic on the days when I've been at work. Just really? because Just because it's just been raining so much. Of course. I was saying to Andy the other day, imagine if you had your PPL I must say like I must yeah I, I do occasionally look at Barton and that like you know just like for the small aircraft and stuff and mm-hmm. it does seem to have been really the past couple of weeks definitely has been really quiet. I mean, it's not been the weather for it yeah I wouldn't want to be up flying in that it's no. not the flying bit it's the landing bit in it today it's today, foggy as hell and yeah, stuff yeah. like that yeah. Barton and today was better though ah. yeah today did seem quite busy so as I mentioned the carbon copy of the aircraft that just the last aircraft that departed uh, Hamburg I thought it was the same plane coming back in. I was like, 
took off quick, came back quick. Yeah, it's in from Farnborough, this, so just a short hop across. But if you are enjoying today's show, if you can give it a quick click on the like button, guys. Really appreciate that. Jet 273 lined up for uh, around a four, four hour flight to Delaman. Just from a takeoff roll now. Amazing. That legacy taxing in on uh, idle. Yeah, Brian, I think, I think I've been to Florida in the summer before when I was very young. It's crazy humid in that state. I just remember it being like the same temperatures, but like you could barely breathe. It was like you were just inhaling oh. liquid. When my mum went to Singapore, she said it was very, very humid over there. It was uh, not very nice. Mm. Diddy D saying I went for my flying lesson at Barton today. Very busy on the car park. Nice. It was pretty busy today. It's nice to see. Like I think that airfield does deserve. Absolutely. The I traffic. think obviously today has been the first nice day this week. So I guess uh, I guess everyone wanted to make the most of it. Yeah. And uh, Gel Davis says. Uh, I lived on the Space Coast for 25 years, born in Miami, uh, but I much prefer the Texas heat for sure. Mm. You stay wet all day long in Florida, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how people do that. No, it's not for me. I think, like, uh, Laurie, I know you're having your lunch, but <laughs> I'm sure it's not like why like someone like Walt would do mostly night shows in DFW. <laughs> it's because the days are just, like, excruciatingly hot. But also, I think you still get a good amount of traffic at night, too. Mr. XL, you'd normally be watching The Chase by now, but this show is just too good to see. <laughs> <laughs> I do like a bit of The Chase. And then who's your favourite chaser? Beast? Um, <laughs> Make sure you pack a jumper, Andy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was thinking that. Gonna have to check what the names are now. I know what she looks like. Cassie, hello to you. Hey, Cassie. Good evening, question mark. Afternoon. What would you call it? Afternoon? Afternoon stroke evening. Either, either Anne or Mark, I'm going to say. Okay. You've ran or Mark, one of them too. I don't think I've ever seen that. Sh I mean, I might have seen that show. I used to love like all these challenge game shows back in the day. When I feel like game shows in general have gone downhill, though. Hundred percent. The, the the one I do like is um, the Drop Zone. Is it Drop Zone? Is that what it's called? You guys will know. Mm. It's um, it's basically like you know that two P game in the arcades. <laughs> okay. It's like it's like that, but imagine all the two Ps are like massive. So they have big tokens <laughs> and like they it. drop it in and they gotta do it and there's like gold tokens in there that they gotta try and push off. I like that. Extra bonus prizes, all this good stuff and they answer questions and the more they get right the more tokens they get to push it off. That um one percent or ninety nine percent club was quite cool. Yeah, that was alright, yeah. Yeah. Ryanair 737 MAX 8, 200, rotating there. Yeah, tipping point. That's what it's called. Tipping ah. point. Chat knows. Chat knows. Chat's on it. Yay or nay in the chat if you, if you like a bit of tipping point, guys. <laughs> I did like a bit of deal or no deal as well. I remember when uh, my nan and granddad were alive... And we used to go down there. They used to buzz off deal on. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I used to love that as well. No Ledmans. They always yep. used to watch it. Think about bringing it back. I think you know. 
I do. I think it's so. I've always wondered if the the banker is a real guy as well. I've always like, I don't know if that's ever been revealed. Yeah. Or if he just like answers like the, the phone sting, to no, isn't it? Yeah. Or it's just Noel Edmonds just messing with them. You know. I've always wondered that. Family Fortunes was my my favourite from I think it was from the nineties or the eighties, late eighties, maybe nineties. Mm. That was pretty good. Back with Les Dennis, and he tried to remake it. And it was just like, it missed the mark so much, it was just not it. And uh, I can already tell you guys in the chat what Jen's favourite game show is. Point And uh, anybody want to take a guess in the chat? Game of Thrones. What? <laughs> <laughs> game show of Thrones. <laughs> anybody want to take a guess? I don't know see what the chat says see if anybody in the chat can guess it well everyone's guessing thank you so much for your premium economy Peter Scullion cheers mate cheers for uh, signing back up and renewing your membership means a lot to the channel mate thank you it's thank right. you very much this Tui Fly livery looks pretty nice in this lighting it really does yeah. yeah it just pops quite nicely it all makes sense there's a bit of sun out Mel, are you guessing there, or are you just typing things in? Because you have managed catch to phrase. nail it in one Blood go. Buster. Catchphrase. Catchphrase yes. was the one with Roy Walker, isn't it? Catchphrase. Yeah. Yes. What a show. Say what you see. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's really good. Is it me, though, or is catchphrase, every catchphrase I see now a celebrity special? Yeah. Every single one. Yeah, yeah, on Dave or something. I don't think they've got any normal ones anymore. Did they ever, <laughs> like, redo that, or are you talking about, like, the old... No, so they got Steve Mullen on it now. Yeah, ah. yeah, yeah. Right now, seven three seven eight something. Woo, Howard Beavers supporting the channel. Not only is it their first gifted Airliners Live super chat, but it's also a mega bong, folks. With wow. a £50 donation saying, great show, guys. I'm newly subscribed. And here's a little something. Is that Kevin D's on? No. Here's a little something towards the donation pot. Keep up the great work, Howard, guys. Howard, me. Howard, thank you very, very much, dude. There's another member of our awesome community, Kevin, who, whenever he sends a mega bong in, says, here's a little something. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you just reminded me of that there. But, Howard, not only are you a new community member, but you've supported the channel massively there so awesome thank you support. very much for that are you uh, a bank manager by any chance <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for sending in a mega bong donation that's very generous first and, donor uh, just subbed wow what a legend and as i said before we do rely on your guys support and uh thank you very much Howard. i'm glad you're enjoying it sit back in the community enjoy it yeah and we'd love to see you as a regular viewer that looks like an A220 by my... Well, Lee, I did have a flick through earlier on while I was sat at the office, and the Air France is due to be an A220, and it is turning on to final over Hyde behind the Sun Express in from yeah. Antalya. And Diane celebrating the red tail badge today. Get in, Diane. As she returns for 12 months of Airliners Live membership. Thank you very much for that. Awesome. Thank you, Diane. Lee Williams saying that bri that uh, air tank has already arrived at Bryce Norton, 25 minute flight. That's nuts. Wow, Samantha Littlewood was actually on Cheggers Plays Pop back in the day. I've never heard of that. Cheggers Plays Pop, man. Never heard of that. What goes on on there then? I think it was like, yeah, it was like obviously just a pop, like a mini pop, based pop like a bit, a bit game quiz. show. Yeah, Not something quiz. like that, mate. Thank you very much again, Howard. That incredible uh, donation, mate. Really appreciate that. A three forty going overhead, Central Manchester. Okay, okay. There's nothing really trailing above us here. There was a chap when I went to Austin Airport um, last year to do some spotting. Mm. There was another spotter there called Carlos, and he was telling me about how he, he'd been on like a few game shows as well, like national ones. I can't remember the name of them, but they were like uh, pretty well known over there in the states. And he won like a hundred k. <laughs> on one of them and so I was like is that real and I Googled, uh, YouTube uh, searched it and yeah the, the episode's on there with him on <laughs> no way I think it, is it Jeopardy I think it's called ah right Jeopardy okay. yep. it's quite what, big in the States I think yeah Jagger's he... plays poffers for all of those of a certain age yes. of Malky correct Malky we'll say no more on that 
Hey, Hannah, great to see you. Thanks for tuning in. And Seb saying apparently that air tanker still has Thomas Cook's seats inside. Oh, really? That's interesting. Wow. Okay, that's weird. I'm not a bank manager, but I may need one now. Yeah, that's another uh, <laughs> Kevin reference there, Howard, as well, dude. <laughs> Always used to seek, always seek, seek, seek permission from the bank manager before yeah, donating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> his donation would even say, I've uh, asked that my bank manager and I've got permission. Yeah, he'd either have to kidnap the bank manager. Or kidnap the bank manager. Put, put little... the bank manager in hiding, donate, <laughs> and then let the bank manager out. Back out again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dude. Really appreciate your support as well. Yeah, Thanks, I was. This is an Air France A220 by the looks of things. Oh, yes. we got a nice howl off this. Fingers yeah. crossed. And quite a bit of sun as well, so... Will she vacate? A lot of planes have been kind of rolling past us here. Kingswear tuning in from the Czech Republic. Welcome. And uh, Drone View tuning in from Miami. Welcome to you. Bullseye. Yeah. <laughs> you're in a boat where you live in Birmingham. <laughs> yeah. Block of flats. Mate, yeah. I've, uh, I remember being really baffed with Bullseye because I watched it after, obviously, the Peter K sketch <laughs> kind of brought it to the attention of people of my age. <laughs> And uh, I watched it, and I'm not joking, the prizes were rubbish, mate. Absolutely <laughs> the rubbish. The prizes were whack. Yeah. But there was one, I can't remember the name, chat. And uh, if you are new to Airliners Live, by the way, this is kind of what we do. We, we don't talk only about aviation. We like a nice community discussion. Oh. We, we love having a chat and a good natter. It's like a bit of a meet-up of friends every week. And I used to watch a programme, and I remember this when I was younger it was like a bit of a game show style thing I can't remember the name of it but someone else may remember and what it was was there was a family who had a talent or someone in the family had a talent like they were good at I don't know they were good at something like basketball or yeah. something like this and a celebrity would have to go and live with them or spend time with them for okay. a, a weekend or a few days or something like that and they'd have to learn the skill Yeah. then the celebrity would ask the family what prizes they want and each member of the family would get to pick a prize and the kids would always pick like a Playstation or something yeah, like that yeah. and then what they'd do is they'd get a celebrity on the show and they'd set up some mad challenge where they've got to throw like a hundred <laughs> uh, basketball shots through the hoop <laughs> before the end of the time and if they did it and they, they got learned the, from all the, the family, they got all the prizes, all the prizes for the family. And if they didn't, they got naff all. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, how well could the family teach this celebrity to do this skill? Someone in the chat's going to have to remind me what it was called. But. Get the walkies at the radio, ladies and gents. Always a chance. Turkey 330 on the taxi out, ladies and gents. And we've also got a Jet 275 at the gate, just waiting to get pushed back. Alpha India, which is going to be getting off to Paphos. Yeah, awesome to see Turkish Airlines using a lot of wide bodies on yeah. that route. The other day, on it was a Sunday, they used the Dreamliner. Yep, yeah, correct. 7-8. Did I imagine that game show chat? Because not a single person in the chat... No one's has, reminiscing with you. Really. ...has yeah. told either... Unless the name just isn't ringing a bell with me. But I'm going to have to start Googling this. Yeah, that is... Uh... <laughs> game show where families pick prizes and celebrity... ...learn a skill. Here we go. What's it saying there? Could it have been like a comic relief thing, maybe? Nah, it was a proper it was a proper show. See all that jelly from the engines and the <coughs> APU at the back there, that's all that heat being emitted from the back of the jets and also the uh, auxiliary power units. Was it called You Bet? 
You bet. Good boy, the chat was saying that. You bet. Game show. Was it that? Between 1988 and 1997. It's got to have been later than that. It's got to have been later than that. This is going to wind me up now, chat. <laughs> this is going to do my head in. I remember it. I just can't remember what it was called. Jill, I'm glad I've not imagined this game show. I don't think it was you bet, no. It wasn't Generation Game, no. 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 A lot of people saying they remember it, but they don't That's actually good. remember the name. Right, so at least like I've not, not made it up. <laughs> I think I can see an aircraft on final approach as Give well. Give me a break or I'll take a break. Was it that? Evening, Simon. Evening, mate. Hello. Give me a break, take a break. Yeah, Mr. XL saying uh, it was an amazing weekend. Yeah, that was awesome. Thank you, Mr. XL and Lynn, Mrs. XL, I guess, for having us uh, at uh, Chocks Away Diner on the uh, the press tower. Doing an awesome broadcast where we got to see the Red Arrows display team departing. Harden Airport, nice and close. Yeah, Michael Curtis, big break was one as well, snooker. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we got some awesome photos, awesome videos of the Reds so close. I'm actually so glad we went in the end because our original plan was to go Liverpool Airport. And to be fair, Harden was really, really, really good. Because uh, last year we went to Liverpool as well and did um, covered the, the Battle of Britain Memorial flight display team and also the um, Eurofighter Typhoon as well as a special visit from YouTube blogger Noel Phillips <laughs> but yeah that, that was awesome that was probably one of my favourite streams of all time though. D Coke on the reg there German Coke No, it's not you bet, no. No, it's not that. No. I'm going to have to... I'll find it. When I find it, guys, I'll was it in the, the uh, VIP lounge. But um, it all doesn't matter. Anyway, because I'm going to tell you guys straight away, the best program game show of all of them went... Oh... He's, he's, he's wafting, saying, do you want a drink? I'm all right. Do you want, do you want a decoke? I'm all right. We're doing sign language. Ma Andy, do you want a sign language if uh, you want a drink? Or? I'm okay. I mean, what's the sign language for that? I don't know. <laughs> um, who's going to get it? There's only three words from this game show that matter. Oh, actually, four words, but I can't say the first one. It's, are you ready? And there's a word before it as well. You gotta know that, chap. You gotta know it. I'm still looking for this game show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the million pound drop, that was a game show, wasn't it? I don't remember it. I remember million pound drop. Yeah, no? that was a. Channel 4, was it? That was tense, that game show, you know. I think I remember that. Davina McCall. Yeah, yeah. Olivia saying uh, she's, uh, we're helping her get through her revision tonight. Oh, nice. How's that going? I, I assume you're doing your uh, pilot-related training and assessments, right? That's it, chat. You will, only go, you will go only on my first whistle. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> you will go on my first whistle. You will go on my second whistle. That's possibly making a comeback as well. Are you ready? Yeah, but come on, mate. If that makes a comeback, it's going to be rubbish. You're not going to have Jet on there and You're stuff, You're not going to be able to whack them that hard. There's no going jet. to be all health and no safety. No Jet there. <laughs> in a, in a, all the get up. beating people up, cheating. <laughs> you know what I mean? Remember him? He just used to cheat all the time. <laughs> Wolf. Wolf, man. <laughs> he was mad, didn't want it. <laughs> and then they do that thing where they just stand on the two, and they got them two big 
big sticks and just cracking each oh, other. Oh, yeah, yeah, on the totem poles and stuff. That awesome. was a top program. It was good. You will go on my first whistle. <laughs> <laughs> is he here? Is he here? <laughs> <laughs> A330, lining up, ready to go next. This we'll, should uh, sound pretty good, this. We'll turn the mic up for this one, guys. Let you enjoy this one. Turkish, you will go on my first whistle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pretty spectacular. Amazing departure there. Turkish Airlines A330-300. Wow. Yeah, Olivia saying it is the ATPLs that she's uh, revising for. Best of luck. That looked beautiful. I'm taking it. Speaking of Olivia, next coming in is a Tui. I googled that, Mel. It didn't, it didn't look like it. Moment of truth, huh? That's got silver black, isn't it? Oh, yeah, and Crystal Maze, that was a game show, wasn't it? Everyone's saying that now, moment of truth. How are you doing, Darren? Hello. The format involved competing families attempting to master a specified task within a week's preparation. Yeah, so it was like that. But I'm sure the family already had the skill and they had to teach a celebrity how to do it. Right. That's how I remember it. So basically all the pressure was on the celebrity. Are you sure you got the actual do, concept right? Yeah, so everyone can I am, yeah. Because, so it was the same concept as that, except instead of the family having to learn it, the family did it already and they had to teach the celebrity... And then it, the celebrity got to know the family, so it was awkward as anything. So they when stayed they with them for a few days and all that. Yeah, like and it. when they didn't, when they did rubbish and they didn't do well, obviously they let the whole family down, and the celebrity was like crying and all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's very similar to that, except like that. Hey, Tom and Dan. Okay. Hello, Robin. Hello. Well, maybe I'm just thinking of like a special version of it or something that. Because I was only young, so maybe maybe they did like a little special series of it or something. I'm thinking maybe they did like a charity version or something. Mm -hmm. I'm sure someone's going to come up with it next. Got to do it. On Mate, I'm going to have to be Googling all week now. <laughs> Tell Jim we can't go away. Martin might be absent from the rest of the stream as he's busy Googling the yeah, team. I'm having a good look here now. <laughs> Right, back to the planes. <laughs> Got a Boeing 757 on a taxi out. Gulf Lima Sierra Alpha India, the oldest Jet 275 in the fleet. You're on the wrong channel here if you want to talk about planes. <laughs> <laughs> Heading off to Paphos. Looks like this, uh, I think it's another uh, Hamburg, this in front of us here. And it looks like this being tended to by... This one here, Venom. Yeah, I might see that moved at some point. They yeah, maybe. Play a bit of playing Tetris in that signature aviation hangar. So some of them do end up on the, the apron there. Or the taxiway, rather, whatever you want to call it. There is a uh, easy jet lining up on 2 3 right.
It's called Hydra in the House. And I'm having a look. Hydra in the House. That's a children's thing. Lining up on 23 right here is the uh, EasyJet A320, which is going to head off to uh, Milan. That's going to be followed by Erlingus uh, ATR 72, operated by Emerald Air. That's heading on the return leg back over to Dublin. And then a Jet 275 Alpha India. <laughs> it's not that. It's not that at all. It's baffled you, that. Isn't it? Don't worry, chat. I'll, uh, I'll, I will find it and I will report back to you. Ooh, it's not. It's not Ida. Imagine calling a kids TV program "Hider in the House." Hider in the house. Hey, and Howard, you've already supported us massively today, dude. Thank you very, very much for sending a twenty pound. Donation to the stream. That's very kind of you, mate. Saying, uh, get yourselves a coat, lads. I've just found out I've won four quid on the lottery. <laughs> so I might get a bag of chips as it's nearly four quid for the cheese these days. <laughs> Thank you very much, Howard, for a very generous donation, mate. That's very kind of you, dude. And uh, congratulations on your little win as well. And uh, although you are in a negative now that you've sent us that <laughs> Thank you, mate. And uh, Darren, thank you also for your very generous donation as well, saying, hi, Andy and Martin. How are you? Treat yourselves to a coffee, tea or a cold drink. And I'm off to Corfu on Friday. I can't hey, wait. Nice, dude. Get in there. Hope you're having a great uh, Hope you're having a great time. It's called Celebrities Under Pressure. Now, that sounds a lot more like it. All right, let's have a eye up that. Who said that? Keith Clifton. Mate, Keith's... Got in the bag. Keith. Keith's the man. Ah, okay. So, got the gist of this now. You ready for this, ladies and gents? So, the description is, and a big shout out, let's get some 10 out of 10s in the chat for Keith. Get in, Keith. Because I am going to be watching the whole series again. <laughs> now that, And the description of this is a series in which a celebrity has to compete a tough challenge in order to win prizes for a family in which their house they have spent the weekend. Yep. The show follows families allowing a celebrity to live with them for a week as they attempt to learn a new skill from their host. Ah. The celebrity's progress is followed through a video diary yep. before they are tested in a live that studio. That is it. Situation. That is the one, Keith Clifton. <laughs> Woo! He's got it. What a lad. Nice one, Keith. Well, That's for you, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers for working out. I'm going to take a picture of that. I'm going to forget when I get home. <laughs> screenshot, yeah. screenshot. I'm going to be putting this on in the office. <laughs> Andy's going to be forced to watch every single one of these. <laughs> it does sound all right, like this. Mate, it's actually pretty good because you imagine living with a family, getting to know the kids, and you mess up the task and you don't get a PlayStation. <laughs> Making all the kids all cry. All fault. <laughs> uh, Lingus ACR on the way out to Dublin. What kind of skills is it like? This sports all, and stuff all like. sorts, yes, yeah, sports based. Right, look at that, Tom and Anne. Huge, huge thank you for the five gifted airliners live memberships. Thank you very much, guys. Really and also, that. huge thanks to Hans, premium member at 18 months. Hi, everyone. Good show, as always. Thank you very much, Hans. Thank you, dude. Legend. Just wondered how well we'd get on if we, we had to do something like that where mm, yeah. you've got a weekend to learn a new skill. Yeah. Let's have a look if I can see some of the. Uh, so you can jog your memory. Some of the skills that yeah, we had yeah, to yeah. do. Let's see if like we'd be any good at them. On the taxi out as well, Jatu's. What are the newest additions to the Jatu fleet? Mm. Still no titles. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Mental. I mean, uh, it's some branding on there at least. G Sun C. November Charlie on the reg of the Airbus A321 Neo. Easy jet just holding at the start of two three right as well. King Keith, mate, exactly. He King knows what Keith. it's about, don't he? Yeah. Has Keith had a gifted membership? <laughs> 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 and Holly, thank you very much for the nine ninety nine donation, saying a great show as always. Thank you very much, Holly. Cheers for the very generous donation. Thank you. Appreciate that. Don't go anyone anywhere, ladies and gents. We've got a couple of heavies on their way in in the next 20, 25 minutes. We've got the Jet 2, 3.30. 
uh, the World to Fly one, which is coming in from Dalaman, which is 23 minutes out, and also a 2E76 just behind. Is it the one for Paphos, is it? Uh, no, it's from Rhodes, this one. Ah, OK. I wonder where uh, David Long's yeah. 76 is. Might have already landed that, but I'm not sure. Uh, Viv, good evening to you. Thank you very much. Just tuning back in. No, Dave's is um, one hour fifty-five out here. Let's put Dave down. Yeah, there was an issue with getting this this aircraft painted. I'm not sure about the exact reason, but I've heard that like there was an issue with the one before it that they weren't too happy with. Mm-hmm. As a result, it became a bit of a dispute about who would finish the livery, yep. and I don't think it ever got resolved and. Now it's been in service, and Jet 2 just need the planes. So yeah, they, they do, yeah. I they think all the airlines desperately need every aircraft uh, <laughs> in uh, in action at the moment, don't they? Well, that's it. The new Neos couldn't come fast enough. I did see a comment on YouTube, someone saying that they're going to be delivering a 321 once a week at one point, but I don't know, they're so far apart at the moment. It's like, yeah. It's yeah. like a once a month, really, yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Brody returning for seven months. Thank you very much, dude. Welcome back, Brody. Been loving the stream as always. Great Top to work. see you again bro- on Sunday, Brody. Yeah, it's good to see you, dude. Appreciate the support. Easy Jet just vacating in front of us from Geneva. Yep, and that's happening as the Jet 275 lines up. Yeah, we'll have a look at the Easy Jet in the sun. Cheers, Darren. Glad you're enjoying it, mate. I know we do talk about some rubbish sometimes, do, but I don't yeah. think I'd... Uh, I wouldn't change it for the world, guys. No. How boring would it be if we just spoke about planes? You know what I mean? Yeah. I think people enjoy not only the community aspect, but the almost like podcast-esque yeah. chit-chat. Yeah. Seven five seven is lined up, ready to go. Have you spoken about the newsletter yet? I did, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'll be coming uh, on Friday. The airliner's live September edition of the brand new newsletter. Here we go, Jet Two Seven Five on the roll. As another Jet Two Seven Five taxis out, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. Nice. Just, I love it how they catch the light like that on the classic livery. Look at that. Just as they get past the Concorde hangar here, they just, just light up. Don't they? Yes. <clears throat> did you read out Holly's best? Do you want me to read out? I did, yeah. Nice. <coughs> yeah, so Friday, guys, it's free for everyone to check out. Uh, it's a monthly podcast that we're going to start doing. Uh, sorry, monthly newsletter mm-hmm. that we're going to start doing. Now, I asked Martin about this, uh, Andy. What are you like with the writing process? Are you pretty good at pen on paper? Are you pretty good at writing things down, ideas? And I, I enjoy writing, yeah. yeah. Like, um, like I end up, I try to keep it really concise, but I did like a little review of our Jet 2 holiday. You know, like, yeah. talking about the 757, talking about Manchester Airport, talking yeah. about Palmer, talking about the World to Fly 330. I just really enjoy writing and you know, when, you, when you've got like a little half an hour, 20 minutes free in your evenings, and yeah. I like writing. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. It's just nice. So I, I want to make it a feature. If you guys enjoy it, we'll definitely keep doing them. Like I said, they'll be free for everyone to read. And uh, it'll just be like a wrap-up of the month. So, yeah, And, and do you find it easy to put like them ideas onto paper, or do you have to find it a bit? Yeah, yeah, I really, really, really enjoy it. In fact, I've got a uh, loopy doing yeah. a bit of a, a, a seg- segment for it as well for Friday mod segment Get yeah in. sorry I, I, John it's my fault I, did, I thought it was the end of the month today so yeah it'll be releasing on Friday guys okay. it, it's going to be the first of every month I thought it was the thir- first tomorrow um, and Brody um, thank you very much that's actually good because it gives me a bit more time to, to go for it yeah. thank you very much for the £10 donation dude uh, saying well happy guys thank you mate cheers for supporting the channel Really appreciate it. A very generous donation. And uh, back off saying, uh, just want to agree, I like the chatty nature of the commentary. Uh, you don't bombard us with info, but it's just enough to learn 
my aircraft recognition has definitely improved hey, significantly watching that's great the to hear that's really good to hear yeah thank you mate. I think the, the sort of aspects of our shows is like meeting up with your mates every few weeks that's how we want the shows that's to the, be that's the ethos isn't it yeah I do like um, especially when you do it Martin like talking about some of the technicalities about these planes and stuff because obviously your flight sim knowledge does kind of translate a little bit into yeah into the knowledge here yeah, and, yeah. Um, and I, th- I think we have an audience that are like pretty diverse in that knowledge of aviation that was part of the feedback that, that the channel had as well though weren't it from yeah. like the question the last thing definitely here's the uh, no title uh, check <laughs> you sure yeah but that was part of the, a, a pretty big part of the feedback that the channel got wasn't it that people just wanted a slight not not over bombarding as, as just, a say, just a extra, little yeah. bit of extra info and of course with Martin's influencing flights him along with John and everything like that, it just just gives that extra bit of um, bit of balance to the streams and yeah, stuff yeah it's really good uh, Howard saying just got to go thanks for the great stream I'll catch you again soon hey Howard thank you very much for your thank huge you, amount Howard. of support mate and uh, yeah we look forward to seeing you again in another stream mate thank you very much hey Mr XL Stu, Stu said he needs to come down and do a buffy, buffy run as well Oh yeah! Just come up and sit in the car, and a good lads. You. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome to come on up, and uh, we'll show you around and all that. Mister Excel himself. Jet to uh, seven three just arrived in from uh, Athens. One thing we did discuss earlier, Andy, was like the hospi- hospitality you guys received down at Awarden and stuff like from the Trucks Away Diner, and that's supposed was... to have really, really looked after you guys, and and of course everyone else that that, that was actually at Awarden. Mm-hmm for well, the uh, past couple of days yeah for me it was like the attention to detail was so good because like I, I feel like it would have been very easy for them to go oh yeah just set up on the mound maybe yeah. we'll call an offer section for you I think that was one of the plans Yeah. but then they went above and beyond because they knew it would be so busy yeah. that they need all that space and there's so many people there that we'd need like an elevator position to be able to do a good broadcast for them Yeah. so they actually went out of their way and you know without us even asking they just constructed that um, you know media tower mm-hmm and yeah like just stuff like that and the position of it and you know having the, the catering uh, you know the building outside that they set up as well and yeah they even offered us food. we didn't take advantage of it because I didn't really want to take the mick but they even said oh if you want any food just let us know we'll bring you some food out some drinks everything like that yeah, yeah. like just honestly well, dude couldn't have been friendly enough with us yeah on the way out uh, it was getting pretty late and Dakota had to go to bed she hadn't, she hadn't had any food yet and without even asking like Lynn was like you know proper trying to get us to get some food from the diner I was like okay fine we'll we'll, we'll go get a kids meal or something and yeah they just gave it to us they were like do you want any drinks or anything we're like I oh, know it's fine and, wow you know just yeah really nice and we want to be we want to go back there uh, I'm super happy they have Beluga Bank there now because it means you can see above the fence like it's, it's super high it's just like the RVP or south side you know you can see over the fence easily And uh, you're really close to the threshold of um, runway 22. I do believe they actually extended the mound already, haven't they, from what it originally was. It was just like a bit of a, like a 10 foot by 10 foot mound, but they've extended it a little bit further now as well, further than, than they originally planned. So Yeah, they have. What was so surreal, though, is when you get there, how close you are to them, to the Reds. Uh-huh. Like, that was weird. Like, just, <laughs> there's just a little fence, and then it's, it's just there. Like, <laughs> yeah. We were pretty. We never promised the stream because we were pretty uh, worried about the the signal strength there as well. Because with it being a bit rural, similar to Manchester, how right? did it like, perform down there? Really good. <laughs> there was it's better than Manchester. It was better than Manchester <laughs> Airport. Yeah, I'm not joking. And it's, weekly it's, it's, streams from Harden on the way, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you're, you're, you're <laughs> pretty. Something you forget the car park. You can go watch from Blue. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just as rural, maybe, maybe even more. You know, just surrounded by farmers' fields. It is pretty stuff. out there, actually, Harden, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. pretty out there, isn't it? No, oh, it's really, really good. And GM, thank you very much for your member upgrade to business class, dude. That's very kind of you, mate. Thank oh, you very thanks, much. Jim. Enjoy that discounted merchandise. And Mike saying, I'm new here, well, be it down the road in Altrincham, uh, but loving the stream. It's like talk sport for planes. Hey! <laughs> hey. Well, nice one, Mark. Mark. Great to see you, mate. And uh, welcome to the community as well. It's got some waves in the chat from Mark, a new community member. We'd love to see you in all the chats, mate. And yeah. uh, Dogs and Aviation tuning in. Good evening to you. Welcome. Sharon Lock asking, uh, does anyone know when the Paw Patrol, I think she means obviously the Sun Express, will be next in? 
Pretty unpredictable, actually, Sharon. And what you're better off doing is checking on one of the flight right, flight tracking apps in the morning. And that, so uh, that will give you a good, decent heads up. If you want to come down to the RDP and uh, get a shot of that. Right now, blasting off there to uh, Dublin. It's just a short flight for that one. Pete asking who are the people in the background. So, yeah, we keep catching them. Um, this is an aviation park, so you can actually come and visit. The public can come and visit. And everything we're streaming from here is within the compound. Like, so you can come here and spot yourself. A lot of families come down. A lot of spotters come down regularly. Uh, it's called the Runway Visitor Park, Manchester Airport. So give it a Google. There's loads to see and do here as well. They've got an on-site cafe. They've got toilets. They've got really close parking. They've got a mound that, as I mentioned before, is, is above the fence line. So you can actually get some views and photos and videos of the aviation action super close over the fence uh, and there's five static aircraft here among them is the uh, the Monarch DC-10 which I was laughing at a Twitter comment because someone said uh, <laughs> is it coming, are they going to bring yeah, he said is that going to return to service <laughs> and someone said yeah it just needs a few parts and it'll be back up and running <laughs> stick some speed tape on it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be up um, and obviously the, the, the centrepiece is they have a Concorde here as well British Airways flagship Bio Alpha Charlie. Look at this. Nice uh, Lufthansa Neo, but in the old scheme as well. Looking really good. This old scheme is nice, isn't it? Yeah. New scheme looks banging on the 321, though. Actually, uh, a pair of bookies on this. Right. But you find on the A320 family, they don't howl as much. It's weird, that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Here we go, ladies and gents. Jet 275, the quickest go. And then the second one in succession here. Yep. Back to depart Manchester, Port Tenerife South. Lovely. Seventeen hundred live viewers tuned in to the midweek show. Awesome. That's a shot. That. I think I need to get my camera out yeah. at the moment. Yeah, the cameras, <laughs> cameras it's getting to the point now. Game where prime now, me. Be warming that up. Yep. Yeah, stick around, folks, because uh, this is the last um, of the uh, evening shows that's scheduled. Might, yeah, that might be good weather as well. Yeah, true. T tomorrow's not looking so good, so this could get really, really good, especially in the next hour or so. Cheers, proud army wife, saying uh, I'm new and I uh, uh, sorry I'm new to your channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hey, welcome in. Great wow. to have you with us. Sure. And uh, Kurt, tuning in from Wisconsin, USA. If you are new, guys, we'd love to uh, welcome you in. Uh, we are a community channel here on Airliners Live, and we understand that when you join a channel that, like ours, where you see a lot of people chatting and it's about something like aviation, you may feel like you don't want to chat because you don't want to look silly or you don't want to say you don't know something or you feel like everybody already knows each other or something like that. And uh, I just want to reassure you guys that uh, here on the channel, everyone in the community is extremely welcoming. If you come in and say, hi, I'm new, you're going to get a lot of people welcoming you in, saying hello. And that's one of the things we're most proud of of the channel. So if you are sat there at the moment enjoying the stream and you're a bit unsure about whether you want to chat or not, I'd really encourage you, if you feel comfortable, to uh, put a quick hello in the chat. Let us know where you're watching from. And... Uh, just introduce yourself that way so we can uh, welcome you as a returning viewer or a long-term viewer the more you watch with us. Now I'm waiting for uh, Lee Davies or Matt to say I'm new. I'm new, you? yeah. As always. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, stand up now and start taking this a little bit seriously.
Hey, Dynamic Duo, member for 15 months. Hey, thank you very much. Premium Economy, uh, as usual, another great evening stream. And Miss Wolves, I saw you uh, arriving in earlier on saying hello. Welcome hey, to you. Hey, Miss Wolves. You okay, Lorraine? A lot of planes over there waiting to depart. We were saying that it might be a bit busier today as well because there's a backlog from all the flights that were cancelled from Monday. So yesterday looked really busy, and I, I was looking at radar throughout today, and it did look a lot busier than usual yeah. today as well. So It's like I said, though, Andy, like, um, one thing to consider is, like, there's still only, like, the same amount of ground stuff. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Here, so... I felt bad for everyone at the airport, uh, on Monday especially. You yeah, know, like, yeah, That chaos must have been not fun to deal with. I, I, I did hear on one or two of the forums, like, that even, like, airfield staff was being utilised to advise passengers and all that stuff. Yeah, so it's yeah. getting pretty desperate in there, I've got to say. Oh, this plane's got no winglets. That's pretty rare to see. Uh, no, the 757 uh, is a narrow body mark. It's a narrow body aircraft. Warren, tuning in from Cape Town, South Africa, lurking in the background. Welcome to you. And uh, Proud Army Wife loves watching these planes, tuning in from California, USA. Great to have you with us. And uh, I did see another hello earlier on. Uh, there is Don Zelly tuning in from Denmark. Hey. Uh, welcome to you as well. Thanks very much for tuning in. Welcome in, Don Zelly. And uh, Barry uh, saying hello, everyone. Enjoying as usual from Barry and Emma. Welcome, guys. Next in, we've got a Sun Express Boeing 73, and that's going to be followed by the World to Fly Jet, two seven, uh, Jet 2330 in from Dalaman. 17 aircraft pinging up on the ground at the moment as well. <laughs> and uh, one of those folks, don't go anywhere, is another 757 bound for Ibiza. Yep. And that's uh, Alpha Alpha on the reg. We are lucky to have so many 75s here at Manchester. We see him uh, most shows. Uh, speaking to uh, some of the Jet 2 pilots saying that uh, they're looking to keep him for a couple of years more. With uh, some of them allegedly retiring as soon as this winter, which is real, real, real sad. But as Matt said earlier, like I think someone like Jet 2, they've just got to have as many planes as possible because they are just filling up like there's no tomorrow there's they, you know like um, one of the A321 Neos going tech has resulted in an A330 being real quick flown in to do a day of flying for Jet 2 you know and the capacity is just getting met Jet 2 are a, a really really good airline and they are getting the passengers in the seats are being filled so Someone tells me they're going to want to keep them 7.5s for as long as possible. I hope Lee Bracewell. Great to see you, mate. Great landing on the Sun Express. 7.37 there. A very common airliner to see here at Manchester, a Boeing 7.37. I think this is one of the most, uh, I think it is still to this day, the most delivered airliner, 737. But I, think, I believe it's been overtaken by Airbus on orders, though. Wow, look how many planes are down there. Mate, loads pinging up at the moment. There's a right queue waiting to get out. Wow. Saeed tuning in from India. Welcome to you. That is wild. Got to say, in the next... 15, 20 minutes, it's going to get really... It's, it's going to be non-stop, it's isn't it? It's going to be mad. Non-stop action. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gents. Air France 220 is pinged up. And as Martin mentioned, another Jet 275 on the way out. KLM, which we saw arriving earlier, is on the way out. A couple of Jet 273s on the way out. views with the light as well
One of the only routes that British Airways operates from Manchester is a uh, man to London Heathrow Airport. Look at that wing, we're just catching the light there. Looking super cinematic. Split scimitar winglets on the Boeing airliner. Ooh, what's this coming in? Is that an A330? Yep, this is the World to Fly 330 from Delaman. Wonderful. With a sea of planes waiting to depart. It is, you're right, yeah. A bit of a mass exodus going on. Uh, proud army wife, you'll fit right in with us here. Get yourself comfortable. The hybrid liveried A330-300. The biggest plane in Jatsu's fleet at the moment. Leased in from World to Fly, a Portuguese operator. Who also fly the A350s as well. Yeah, I've seen Laurie talking about runway DFW uh, before. Um, it would be cool to maybe meet that guy, Walt. Uh, when I go visit, That's get him in the schedule, mate. Get him I know. In. Maybe do like a, a late evening at DFW. Hey, guess who's got a red tail badge? Oh yeah, William and Evie. They've just got a red tail hey, badge. Hey, nice class. one, guys. Finally got to the red tail badge. It was nice to meet you both two weeks ago. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate that. And I was going to say, nice to meet you. Hope you had a safe journey home. And we'll let this Ryanair go out, and then we'll uh, mention the next one. Following on from uh, William and Evie's uh, membership there, we have uh, Chavs, who's been a member at Business Class also, and he's been a member for five months. Thanks for you very much, Chavs. Much appreciated for your Cheers continued too. support. Thanks very much for that. And uh, Rachel is asking for a big shout-out to Mum Irene. She's watching in uh, Stockport, and she's a new watcher in Norwich. Yes. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, even more planes lining up at the moment. Let's have a look at this. Just uh, so many planes down there waiting to depart. And there's also a KLM joining them as well. Mate, the lighting is on point. Yeah, it's getting good. Yeah, it's good. So uh, me and Matt are just going to go to the mound. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll be back about half uh, seven. Oh. Keep your eye on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Got a jet too. Uh, sorry, a 2 is 7 6 is the next uh, aircraft to touch down here at Manchester. Amazing. There's the World to Fly hybrid. The Jet 2 branding on the A330 300. Aircraft stacking as well at the minute, so it's getting really, really busy for some reason Man at Manchester. Here. Another plane taxi now, Jet 2 737. <clears throat> the classic colours. Eyes to the skies for this 757. Hey, I'm really sorry, uh, Simon. I didn't know. Let me uh, let me grab that. Thank you, dude. Sorry, Simon. Yes, sending in a Kofi donation 14 minutes ago, saying hi, Martin, Andy, and Matt, the Cam Smith. Yeah, too. great show as per the norm. Brilliant video work with the awesome light showing off the paintwork and the livery on the planes. Airliners Live is a place to be for great aviation content. Hey. Thanks, team Airliners Live. Thank you very much, mate, for your very generous donation. Cheers, Simon. Thank you and so much. Sorry I missed that, my mate. Appreciate it a lot. Just watching this 2E767 gliding down the glide slope 
as it's going to land soon on 2-3 right here at Manchester. <laughs> Lee Bracer, I'll come down and cover you while you're on the mound, lads. Me and Matt can talk about Greg's. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean Matt's going to be with me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, too busy. Craig Burner, no, that's not a daft question at all, Craig. They're not on dual ops because they uh, use single runway ops after four o'clock. Well, that's it. Um, but at this rate, makes you wonder why they haven't got a second runway open, to be honest. Not complaining, mate. Keep it closed. Keep it closed. Tabletop Android uh, saying, I didn't know this channel existed. It's like uh, commentators of a sporting event. This is wild. <laughs> Welcome in, dude. Hey, if you want to watch in 4K, anybody watching on Twitch, head over to Airliners Live on YouTube. Just search for Airliners Live. We're live now in 4K. And uh, sunshine arriving in a bit of sunshine today. Nice to see. One of our moderators, David Long, was flying on a 2E767 today. I don't think he was a huge fan of it. Was he not? No, he said it wasn't very comfy, but I'm curious why, because he said it wasn't even as comfy as a, set, um, as a Jet 2. Right. Like, that takes some doing. <laughs> What's the eh? And uh, Aiden tuning in from inside Terminal 3 at the southern end, just across from where you are. Nice, mate. Too quiet for dual runway ops. Yeah, Mikey. I mean, it usually is, but... Right now, I mean, look how many planes there are waiting to take off. Yeah, we do do this for GA aircraft as well. We've just not had the weather in the UK this summer yeah. to bring many GA shows, unfortunately. Yeah. So we smart links on the roll. Wonderful. It's such a cue. It's out for Dalaman. Lovely sound of the CF6 engines on the 2E767. Look at them. The lighting is just epic. Cheers, Dean. 4K looking great. Appreciate it, mate. As that easy jet departs out to Alicante, another one's on short final in from Amsterdam. And quite a queue forming down at the end of 2 3 right, waiting to depart. Just keep stacking them up. Six aircraft in the queue now. Lovely conditions here for video and photos. And if you are enjoying the show today and you'd like to help cover the cost of the channel, you can send a donation into our Kofi page where we receive 100% of your donation. Links will be in the chat for that. That's the best way to send a donation into the channel. Or you can send a super chat if you want it to show on YouTube. Just hit the dollar symbol. But the very best way to support Airliners Live and give back to the community at the same time is by gifting memberships. And we'd really appreciate you guys gifting any memberships to the community. It helps cover the cost of the stream and also gives awesome community members a chance at VIP. And thanks to everyone for uh, tuning in today. Time to 
Tango Julia on the easy jump. Yeah, don't forget to hit that like button as well. That's uh, Taken off there in a Ryanair scheme. And Steve, thank you very much, mate, for gifting an Airliners Live membership. That's gone to Mark Thorpe. Thank you very much for that. And McTavish also uh, dropping a Twitch Prime on the channel. And the very generous five Airliners Live gifted memberships coming in from Joan. Wow, cheers, Joan. Thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate that. All the support coming into the channel. Plenty of new members. Had an access to VIP there. Thank you, guys. I don't think I've seen this plane at Manchester before. It's easy, Jack. But I have seen it at Liverpool. Easy DJ. <laughs> I like that, Reg. Hey, but don't forget, guys, tomorrow night will uh, be the final late night opening for us here at the RVP. We're going to be live from about 2 p.m., bringing you all of the action. So make sure you tune in for that. Hey, big red, yeah, very lucky, mate. That is beautiful. This easy jet vacating in front of us, catching the light beautifully from Basil. The light catching those engines. Right, another departure coming up. Jet 2737 800 in that classic scheme. Robert Maxfield, good evening to you, welcome. <laughs> Easy DJs at a remix. <laughs> literally mixing it up there yeah that one was based at Liverpool Airport for a bit I, I'm not sure how long it's been at Manchester mate me and Matt just uh, pulling some serious base faces down here then when we both looked at our pitches <laughs> just uh, coming out crystal clear nice. so sharp with this lighting is uh, just allowing the cameras to really uh, come into their own Sonny good, good uh, evening to you I would say my Sony was uh, slightly clearer than uh, the Nikon that Matt's got in his hand, but uh, we'll leave that for another day. Wow, 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 wow. There goes the KLM that we've seen coming in earlier. She's uh, departing back to Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. Really photogenic scenes here at Manchester Airport. It's really busy as well. A lot of aircraft taking uh, a derated takeoff as well, which is awesome for me and Matt here trying to grab some pitches. Yeah, there was a plane on final approach. Going to be using the same runway. There, Matt, same runway that this easy jet's on. I can't get that angle from where I need to uh, stick my head out the window a bit more here. Yeah. I'm adjusting my setup, guys. We're going into picture mode now. How is Starlink today? It seems all right. Seems to be doing all right. Easy jet, A320 Neo next out. Look at that climb, mate. That is so pretty. And as one takes off, no messing around. Late landing clearance. The next arrival of uh, another easy jet with the A320 with the Sharklets coming in. Hey, nice one, Hayden. Appreciate it, mate. And thanks for uh, signing up to be a uh, member on. The Airliners Lounge channel as well. Really appreciate that, dude. Yeah, legend. <laughs> yeah, I rec recommend you go 
get subscribed to the lounge it's our second youtube channel that we talk about a lot of uh, more topical aviation things and it's all offline too so it's all pre-recorded content most recent video was about why the jet 2 and allegiance deliveries are so similar there's plenty of other videos on there too daniel saying we need to know where they're going uh to make me jealous <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we do, uh, we do try and let you know on as many as we can. I'll be honest, I'm not as slightly distracted with picture taking. As the sun just goes behind the cloud, is that permanent on the or? Uh, no, um, okay. don't think so. Enrique Martinez, hello, welcome. And Supercast team, thanks for tuning in. Another Jet 2 on the roll. Big flurry of non stop departures and arrivals. Hotel, hotel on that. Reg, look at that. Hitting the sun. You can really see the detail and shape of the fuselage nicely when it's hitting the sun like that. Oh my days, mate. This is cheating. <laughs> We're quite lucky today as well because the temperature is quite cool. It feels like it's only like 20 odd degrees Celsius. So it means that the picture looks pretty sharp. We're at 4K as well. We're at quite a high bit rate. And the lighting is pretty gorgeous as well. Yeah, it's oh, mate, so good. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too, William. Never be afraid to come and say hello after we finish a live show or before we start, if you are here at the RVP. Ooh, Jet 2757. There we go. such luck with those two uh, engines on board you're not going to uh, get those going long I'm afraid and uh, Pete saying uh, please don't change the commentary format uh, it makes it great for us ordinary aviation fans who may not understand so much of the technical side yeah we've got no plans on changing it Pete I'm glad you're enjoying it dude thank you very much as another 7.5 comes around the corner oh, really this is what we're talking about, guys. Welcome to the late night openings here at the RVP. The place to be. And if you've not enjoyed them, guys, the last one is tomorrow. Come down. We're going to be here all evening. Come down, bring your camera, and just have an absolutely belting evening, guys, because it doesn't get better than this at Manchester Airport. And Andrew saying, I love the show tonight. Thank you, mate. Sun just temporarily gone behind a cloud. Look at the difference that makes. It's made a huge difference, mate. Really. Yeah. Hopefully that's going to come back out in a moment. Lift these back up so I can do a bit of spying on these clouds. Yeah. <laughs> look at, oh, yes, look at that. So that'll do. Get that blown over there a little bit. Got a nice big patch of blue after this cloud shifts itself. Another 75 on the roll.
to keep our fingers for the uh, dot com map. Yeah. Hopefully the sun will be back out by then. Yeah, that, you've got a point, Chris. Yeah, there's a lot of Jet 2 aircraft moving around at the moment. Ryan Nash saying 10 out of 10 stream. Cheers, Ryan. And Tom Jones saying super coverage, lads. Welcome in, folks. Tuned into Airliners Live. Hope you are enjoying it. Myself, Martin. Got Andy doing hard work up on the camera. And we got Matt down here as well. Uh, there he is. And um, me and Matt just uh, keeping an eye on the chat, but also taking quite a few pictures as well. All of which we do post on our social media channels. So make sure you're following Airliners Live on Twitter. And uh, that's probably the best place to follow us right now, guys, is, is on Twitter. But yeah, the, the, the sky is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Such a, a nice change. Another aircraft already about to touch down. 2-3 right, single runway operations. So there's only one runway in use at the moment. And that's going to be like that for the rest of the show as well. It's another Jet 2 737. In from uh, Catania. They have two runways here at Manchester. It's only certain times of the day they open the second runway for either arrivals or departures, depending on the wind direction. If they're on uh, this direction, then the other runway will be for departures. Greece in the runway there. And then the opposite. This will be the uh, departure runway and the other one will be for arrivals. But we do like uh, streaming at this time of day. It gives us like, an extra day in the office, potentially, as well. Um, but most of all, it's great because you guys can uh, tune in who are kind of in the Americas, right? If you're in North or South America, this is a bit more friendly for you guys. And yeah, it's also something nice to watch when you get in from work as well. Yeah, it's quite a central time zone. Whereas when we do the morning shows, obviously it's a bit trickier for those in the US to tune in. And Ben Fraser, thank you very much, mate, for the premium economy membership supporting the channel today. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much for returning your membership. Ryanair 737 next up. Europe's biggest airline. Cheers, Christopher. Glad you're enjoying it, mate. Yeah, we're going to try our best to keep bringing you guys evening show entertainment as well on the Wednesdays. That's the plan. We're still yet to work out exactly how late that could be. But here at the RVP, it's pretty epic with the lighting and all that and the up-close runway one action as well. the smoothest landing <laughs> on the louder A320 yet another Ryanair subsidiary making an appearance on today's show hey cheers Stu thanks for tuning in catch you shortly mate see ya
Chris saying tonight is a super blue moon. Never heard of one of those. No. Yesterday, though, I, I was out for a walk yesterday evening and the moon did look really big yesterday. Might have to take my camera out later. Yeah. yeah. Oscar uniform on the red to this A320 with the sharklet winglets. Yep. But yeah, folks, definitely give the uh, newsletter a read when that gets released on Friday. I'm sure I'll mention it tomorrow as well. We've got the Airliners Live newsletter, a new monthly feature for you guys, and it's just a lot of up keep things to keep you up to date with the channel, really, and things that may have happened offline as well. Do you think you'll catch the A380 guy saying, Stu? Um, I think so. I think it should be okay. I think it's due in at, like, in about an hour, right? by the looks of things. Keep us updated in the chat about how far the King of the Skies is from us. Certainly would be good to catch the A380's arrival. Three eighty check. Currently one hour five minutes away. Perfect talking like quarter past this quarter past seven so i mean the clouds are a bit questionable but it could open up yes to be very glorious by that time and incidentally the uh two that took our moderator david down to paphos this morning that's just behind the 380 as well so amazing that's taken a long time it to get really back. has yeah i assume it's probably delayed, delayed. Yeah. yeah two hours got a good two hour delay delay on delay it's not fun for the crew, that is it? Not really. <laughs> Speaking of Monday, Andy, I did, um, I did have my scanner on over on the south side, and uh, you could hear, like, especially some of the long haul crews and stuff like that, they were starting to get a bit panicky and stuff like that because of the crew hours and whatnot, so. Yeah. Desperate to get out some of the uh, crew who were on, like, long haul flights and stuff. Oh wow! Jet two seven five, such an early takeoff. Uh, wow! Wheels are up already. That was wild. Brief. Look at the climb rate of that! Wow! That was amazing. Yikes! Well. I don't think the lighting mattered in the end. <laughs> <laughs> she was not hanging that about. God, wasn't she? Look at that thing. Unbelievable. I've seen some climbs by some 75s, but that was... Wow. Yeah. Could be on a test flight, that maybe. No, mm. no destination as of yet, so... Yeah, that could make sense. It definitely doesn't look very heavy. That is the biggest cloud in the world, isn't it? Yeah, it's not moved, does it? And you just <laughs> get gone on the day one. Yeah, well, that, that was some prime rate from the 75, that. Yeah. I think the last time I seen a climb like that was uh, when Tui retired that 757 on yeah, the stream. Yeah. And we missed, we missed the rotation because it was that early. <laughs> Another Jet 2, 83, sorry, 737, 800 coming in. Yeah, let's have a look at the uh, clouds after this as well. Did anyone see Chrissy B's thing, you know? Uh, go ahead and read it Chrissy out. Chrissy B with a one gifted membership. Oh, thank you. And just trying to see who that went to. And it went to Ryan Nash. That Thank you, Chrissy. Three lots of aircraft flight on the approach. Yeah. Really appreciate the gifted membership there. Thanks very much. Yeah, 
a lovely send off for the late evenings shows at Manchester at the RVP wait yeah my K is saying it was off to Heraklion really yikes that's some Whoa. climb that wasn't it it's not waiting around cheers for info Mike <laughs> that's why Mark loves the 7-5 exactly yeah. absolutely yeah quite cool the visibility today we can see three lots of lights on the approach path yeah and they yeah. belong to an easy jet, which is just about to touch down a Ryanair aircraft. And then the Aegean, which is number three to arrive in from Rhodes. Wonderful. Days like this make you appreciate like, the surroundings of Manchester as well, though, don't they? Look at like, the, the hills and yeah. all the Pennines. And... Does give a nice backdrop, doesn't it? Yeah. And if you have enjoyed today's stream, as Loopy says... Come back tomorrow because uh, we are going to be doing it all again from about 2 p.m. in all the afternoon. All again. And can we get a massive, massive shout out for Jennifer McMahon, who's just raided the channel with 103 wow. viewers. Wow. Here on the Airliners Live channel. Thanks very much, Jennifer. Cheers, Jen. Really appreciate that. Hope you had a great stream. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome to Airliners Live. Are we bringing you all the live aviation action weekly here from Manchester Airport and weekly from Vancouver, Canada as well. And we're uh, currently in the middle of our evening stream, about another hour to go. Yeah. A few guys just joining. And for anyone watching on Twitch, if you want to watch this in 4K, then search for Airliners Live on YouTube, where you can watch us live now in 4K. Yeah. Plenty of viewers on there tuned in as well. We do recommend you come over to the YouTube because that's the finest quality you're going to see. Sound, vision. Well, well, thanks like, very much for raiding. Looks like that uh, cloud's almost finished. Almost good. Mate. Almost. Just yeah, don't go anywhere, guys, because the sun is about to come out from behind the cloud. And then I promise you the light is just going to get incredible from that moment on. Because there's no other clouds for a while then after that. Okay. Andrew <laughs> Wells, evening from the south coast, is a northerner by birth. Never knew Manchester was so busy. Well, it do not normally actually this busy to be honest, but obviously with what's happened earlier in the week. Thinking a bit of a backlog's happening here. Great footage, guys. Thank you very much, Andrew. And Supercars team, a brand new premium economy member. Thank yeah. you very much for that. Really appreciate that. Thanks welcome for in, uh, the channel. Welcome in King Kev as well. What is it you uh, stream, Jennifer, mainly? I've not heard of your channel before. Let us know in the chat. Proud Army Wife says, I'm sorry you didn't catch the two gentlemen that are comment commentating, but he just wanted to let us guys know that she could sit here and listen to us all day. She just loves our acts. <laughs> if only my missus said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised people <laughs> say that. You know, I listen back and I'm like, what are we? Who watches this? Like, hey, look <laughs> who's just dropped in the chat as well. Certain Mr. Flying Architects. Hey. hey. Nice one, dude. How was your flight? Yeah. I was saying on the stream that I don't think you were too happy with the 7 6 by the sounds of it. <laughs> but I, I am genuinely curious why, though. Like, maybe you could do an article for the uh, Airlines Live newsletter. Maybe. I, was, I was under the impression that David had been on the 7 6 before for some reason, I'm not sure. Why. Yeah, I think I, I thought that too. But if you are a new viewer to Airlines Live, especially all those that have just raided the Twitch channel, we bring you live aviation every week. Uh, but we have our own little twist on it. We like it to be a bit more of a podcast feel where we have a bit of a chat with our mates and a chat with the community and keep it nice and friendly. It's not all about aviation here on the channel. We like uh, just chatting with you guys and having a good laugh and a good time for a few hours. And uh, this is the best way to do it in really nice lighting. It's just been non-stop planes for the last sort of hour because it is super busy today as well so it's a good time to be tuned in ooh clouds are just going there so the next arrival is that e uh, Aegean Airbus A320 which is coming from Rhodes flight time of just short of 4 hours 10 minutes oh is it a classic Aegean colour yeah, as well it is, yeah yeah a dying breed, these. Kind of remind me of Louder, you know, like similar, yeah. similar thing. Like offset to the livery, yeah, it is. Yeah. 
But yeah, this is the Greek uh, flag carrier. You love the new uh, Aegean uh, library, don't you, Andy? I do. I think they've got it bob on with that. Especially on the Neos. They only ever fly the A320 family to Manchester, though. It would be nice to see some bigger planes, but mm. as with most flag carriers, they just generally just stick to the smaller airliners, don't they? Yep. Ooh, this one is uh, on my back now. Yeah, so there we go. Just a little bit more. Come on, sunshine. Yeah, turn it up a bit. <laughs> Someone just blow that cloud a little bit more. Uh, Lee Williams, I can't see your previous comment. Just post it again for me. I can't find it. There we go. The sun is back on the aircraft. Look at them engines. Classic. Thanks, Jennifer. Yeah, I'm not sure if you heard. Uh, oh, sorry. Jennifer typically does storm chasing streams. What? Wow. Yo. Yes. That's my kind of content right Get there. In. Yeah, that's boss, that. Is that US based, I'm guessing? Because there's been a few in the US, hasn't there? Lately. Yeah, tell us a bit more about that. It's, mate, that is cool. I've always said on the stream, I'd love, it's on my bucket list of things to do, Yeah, is to go Come and do a bit of storm chase chasing, storm, maybe yeah. see a tornado. Get in. Hey, that's, that's, uh, I wonder if that's like a little bit easier now with the new network <laughs> that we got. Yeah. No, tell us more about that. That's really cool content. Right, I definitely need to uh, <laughs> make sure I follow. Make sure I'm following you. <laughs> and cheers, big tell. Tell Edwards with a one Ernie's live gifted membership. Thank you so much, tell. He just thrown it at the tower from, yeah. from the mound. Legend. So catch this, catch this, boys. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, pal. Yeah, just dropped a little uh, little follow on the channel there. Yeah, she does US based. Just finished chasing a hurricane. Yeah, there's a. Is it Alder or something? Ida or something? Yeah. Storm or something? I think it's in Florida, I think, from memory. Yeah, covering a hurricane in Florida. Jennifer, I'm going to go and watch the VOD back on that. That's awesome. Crazy. Oh, now the light's back, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, now this is what we're talking about. Sun's out. Yeah. Guns out. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. And a Neo as well. Go on, VK. Go on. Is she going to do no, it? No. Oh. Idle Sorry. reverse. I'll be honest, I'm going to be selfish. I want some departures. <laughs> yeah. But they've all disappeared. Yeah. I know, yeah. <laughs> Can't believe it. Sun's finally come out. We had eight waiting down there before. There's not a single plane there now. <laughs> hey, and Danny Taylor. He had his first experience in a helicopter yesterday. All right. Mad the sensations of being able to move literally anywhere you want it. <laughs> <laughs> what was that uh, about, Danny? Was it a, like Barton or something? I've never been in a helicopter. Have you, Matt? No. I don't think I'd, I'd, my body would, you know what I mean? Like, it I, would I, I be get, a weird sensation, that though, Yeah, like, I get Actually being able to go where, the, where you wanted, like. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, helicopters are a weird one for me because I don't feel... Like naturally, they're supposed to fly. Yeah, they feel, a helicopter to me feels like we've forced it to fly. You know, <laughs> it's not like a plane where you make a paper airplane, you flow it, throw it, it just wants to float, doesn't it? Yeah. If you get a little helicopter, mate, that thing's falling down unless you're pedaling so fast. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, I don't know helicopters. I mean, the only helicopter trip I'd love to do. Is that one over the uh, airfield in the over US Lux. over LAX? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get them, uh, get them aircraft below you. I believe one of our VIPs, Callum, did it not too, uh, not too long ago. Actually. So you have like your feet dangling off the edge, and like I think you're harnessed in or something. Oh, really? Oh. I've heard. I've had the same one. But now that'd be a sensation at half, wouldn't oh, it? Oh, that would be too weird. Claire tuning in from Edinburgh. Welcome in. My favourite helicopter I've been in is the Chinook flying over Afghanistan. No way, Phil. Wow. wow. That's nuts. I think uh, they they feel a bit more stable, I think. Yeah. With the, the dual rotors and all that. Yeah, they come into their own, don't they? they got, and the mad thing is about them Chinooks is you can throw them around like anything. You've seen oh. them at air shows. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? It's just crazy. It, just doesn't, it looks like they've been modded like, like, a, like a video game. You make it sound like helicopters are bumblebees. It's the same thing, isn't it? That same principle. 
They just they just shouldn't fly. Danny says uh, they still obviously follow the, follow the taxi. Yeah, as they do here, like we've noticed that, that they still follow the taxiways and everything. Obviously, because of posts and structures everywhere. And yeah. Uh, if the ro- if the rear rotor stops, you ain't gliding anywhere, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> And if you're watching on Twitch, don't forget to check them Twitch Primes. Yeah. Or if you can help us hit the sub goal, we'd really appreciate that. If you're watching on YouTube, if you want to give some memberships to the community, that's the best way to support our channel today. Hit the dollar symbol link for gifted memberships, or by sending in a super chat or a Kofi donation helps cover the cost of the stream. Well, Thea says she flew in a helicopter above New York. That'd be really <laughs> awesome. Wow. Wow. There's some experiences that people do that are just like... Mind-blowing, aren't they? Yeah. What? Mercy in 8-7, saying uh, Chinooks have the best sound ever. Uh, I hope you're well. They certainly do. We've actually covered Chinooks departing from our local GA base where our office is, and they are something else. Mm. It's so cool. So loud as well. We've got streams on our channel, guys. If you did miss them, check back after today's show because we've got streams of them departing. Just don't, don't stand near them when, when they're heavy. When they're heavy, no. Yeah. If, if you want to uh, <laughs> stand up... That's not the best idea. <laughs> yeah, that was wild. Mate, can I get some departures while the sun's out? No. I can hear something, but I think that's just a Scandinavian as taxi did. There's quite a bit happening on the ground. It's just a just a waiting game, I think. Yeah, Manchester Airport does this, doesn't it? It goes, like, extremely busy and in quiet. Yeah. So stick around, folks, because we're into the last hour of the show. And we've got also the Emirates A380 coming in as well, which I'm super, super hyped for. And that's going to look gorgeous in this lighting. And as a Twitch viewer, I'm going to struggle to say the name. Thimria84. Mm. That's right. So there's not too much wizardry about it. The blades of a helicopter are shaped the same way as a wing of a plane. So it's the same principle, but just harder to master. Uh, yeah, yeah, but you've got to spin them super fast. Yeah. So for me... I know they do auto-rotation landings, where obviously if you lose the power the aerodynamics kind of take over at that point, but a plane will glide <laughs> for a considerable amount of time, whereas a helicopter just isn't going to do that. So yeah. for me, I just, I don't know, I feel safer in a plane. 8220 on the taxi, nice one, John. That's probably going to rotate a bit too early for me, I would have thought. Mm. Oh, but Lufthansa Neo, mate, in the old scheme, is on the taxi out, so keep your fingers crossed for a late rotation on that. And there's also a Jet 2 on the way out. So it is picking up on the departures front, folks. Four, five on the way out now. Yeah, there you go. There's your uh, there's your break. Where's the cloud? Give it a rest. Yeah. Mate, oh, are you kidding me? There's a cloud about to go in front of this one. Mm. That's Sun Express, though. That would look pretty good in the sun. Hopefully that's going to get out in the sunshine. 8382 at 729. Yeah, we'll catch that. However... We're probably not going to follow it all the way on to stand, guys, if it's arriving at that time, because we've got quite a bit to pack up today. But we will catch it arriving for you to wrap up the show. Moonburbs, good morning, uh, good evening, sorry to you. new paint scheme well I really like it but there's um, a lot of people who don't I've seen I thought it was a mate I just thought it was in the bag 100% everyone's going to love that and then I saw it on socials and everyone was like oh wow this is horrible this and I was blown away honestly. yeah I, I wouldn't say it was bad but I don't know it's just it's just another kind of modern looking livery right oh, no, I thought it was quite colourful yeah it's definitely got more going for it than some of the ones we got over here yeah, yeah. But, uh, no, I know what you mean. It's, uh, I don't know, I quite liked it, I must admit. I think uh, people, again, were not too happy with the, the Monarch new livery as well. Yeah, I know. I mean, I think the Monarch livery is definitely lacking a bit. I think the text on the front can be a lot bigger. Yeah, The definitely. Monarch text could be massively bigger. Um, and it's not got the, uh, the dotted M either, has it? The dots have gone from underneath it. Yeah, it's um, a bit of a shame. 
Yeah, it's a weird licensing thing, isn't it? I, I don't know, is it? I mean, do they not own it? Do they not buy it? When they walk I don't know. I don't know what the ins and outs are, but they've, they've, they seem to be having some technicalities with, like, who owns Monarch as a brand. That's why they had to go with Let's Monarch instead of, what was it, Fly Monarch, I think it was, before they were, like, the website was registered as. Weird. Yeah, some strange things. I don't, I don't know. But, yeah, Monarch Airlines seem to be making a comeback. Will it happen? Who knows? But, uh, yeah, they were a pretty big big deal back in, back in uh, like, 2017 and before. Mm. It's quite a while ago, though. It was even before Airliners Live was, was a thing mm. that they were flying. It didn't seem like that long ago. Yeah, it was only when we looked back through our archives and realised we don't actually have any footage of it. Mm. Made us realise that, yeah, actually, it was literally, they were going just as we were starting up. Mm. Uh, Tony C returning for 10 months. Thank you very much. Saying 10 months already. Thanks for the great content. Thank you, dude. Glad you've enjoyed it. Here we go. Sun Express. Hopefully we can grab a bag of picture of this before this cloud takes over. And ladies and gents, incidentally, just 10 minutes away now, we've got the uh, Air Baltic, which is a uh, standing flight for the Swiss uh, Swiss route in, and it's uh, a A220, and it's in the Latvian flag library, so that should be pretty cool as well. Thanks for that. Yeah, in a little special scheme. That's only 10 minutes away, ladies and gents, so don't go anywhere if you'd like to see that. Nice special library on the Wednesday evening show. And ladies and gents. There's yet another Jet 275 about to push back. Oh my gosh. Come on, son, stay out for this, please. Just this one and I'll let you go in. Go on. Go on, mate, please. You might get it there. Got long shadows being cast on the body from the wings. Doing a little sun dance here in the rave, <laughs> bowling me head off. I'm in the rave, but... Fez is calling it the Sunderland livery. <laughs> I always call that the, the barbershop livery, that one. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Hello. Hey, you You're not too late. Here goes another Jet 2. 737 no not that long flying doctor no it depends on the departure and the weight category of the aircraft and stuff like that Massive thanks to Tony C. Been a member of a Premium Economy for 10 months now. 10 months already. Wow. Thanks for the great content. That's wild. Cheers Thank you, Tony. Tony C. Thank you very much. It is flying. Just like the stream today, actually. It's yeah. going real quick. Really fast. We'd usually kind of be wrapping up now, but we'll keep it going a little bit longer today. With the Emirate A380 arriving at about half past the hour. Yeah, I'll be making the most of uh, the time here today, I think. Johnny, do you guys want to give a quick more, quick more, once more mention about the newsletter and where they can find this? Um, yeah, it's going to be published find on the website, and we'll be sharing it on our socials as well. So keep an eye open for that on Friday, right? When that's going to be released, uh, that's going to have the monthly roundup of everything. Yeah, yeah we'll put, put up, we'll uh, send it out on all our socials, like okay. Martin said. So YouTube post, but like Martin said earlier, the best way to stay up to date on the channel is follow us on Twitter slash X, whatever it's called these days. Mm. We like to. Uh, We've got. A, I think Elon needs to come out with a video, and just give us all a tutorial. Yep. To be honest, on yep. this X Twitter thing, like it, like I want to know uh, what we call it. How we say we've done a tweet. Yeah. yeah. How we say we've done a retweet. Retweet. Re X. Are we Xing the X's and re Xing the X's again, or what? I, 
I mean, yeah, we need a bit. Yeah, we need some guidance on that. I think he's not really thought this through very much, has he? I no. like the new branding, but he's not really thought it through. Not to be confused with SpaceX, another of the X's, right? He likes that letter, doesn't he? <laughs> 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 Oh, that Swiss is just about to... It's just getting established now, so it shouldn't be too long. That's great. Yeah, I'm not in too much of a rush because I want this yeah, sun want to sun come to out go. from the cloud, especially this lap. We're not going to get a better picture of this, Matt, if the sun comes out, I'm no. telling you now. No, no, no. This is the one you got to bag. We can attack. Right, cloud. You know, we said we're starting afresh <laughs> on Aviation right, cloud. Club. Get a move on. <laughs> we'll let you keep this picture. We'll have a cloud update after this. <laughs> Ryan, Welcome back, uh, Barbara. Great to see you. Cheers, Hello. Bob. Still gorgeous lighting, though, nonetheless. Have a look at this. So we got there's like hardly any clouds in the sky this way, and this is just opening up oh, now for us. Here it comes! Come on! Is it coming out? Here we go! Here we go. <laughs> this is like the opposite of a storm chasing each other. Yeah, <laughs> sun chasing. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Just in the US, you beg him for a tornado and a bit of rain, and we're here like, sun, come out from behind the cloud. <laughs> Jason, this give me a bit the, of vitamin D. The Bre- <laughs> <laughs> come on. The British version. <laughs> British read to What are you saying, yo? What have you seen? Like, I haven't. Jodrell Bank. Oh, Jodrell Bank catching the sun. Lovely job. Yeah, we've also got an Air France A220 here presenting on the taxiway there. <laughs> Jennifer's like lightning strike me <laughs> come on <laughs> <laughs> metal plate on red come on <laughs> God. all we want we're is just to see here. the sun for 10 we're minutes we're just here hopeful with our sunglasses on I know <laughs> so, yeah, the sun. Mo- let- moving the shorts to the front of your cupboard in hope he's got to let these sunglasses <laughs> get some use the uh, satellites weirdly pointing like the complete opposite direction today. Look at that. Mm. Must be uh, something over there. It, check your end, Barbara, because we're streaming quite stable here today, so it yeah. shouldn't be it shouldn't be buffering. Mods, if we can just double check that. Yeah, yeah, we're not having any issues here, Barbara. I'm afraid. I'm, I've got it on another screen as well. It seems clear. Make Must sure you're not thingy. So where is it, mate? We're we're in luck, Matty boy. Look at all that blue there. I think Barbara's in Florida, so that storm might be playing a bit of a thingy as well, you know. Yeah. To the guys over there. And. Oh, Sun Express, just rolling as well. Perfect. Oh, just uh, just approaching Stockport now. It's arrival. Yeah, I can see it. My eyes on it. Yeah, we'll we'll zoom into that. Sun Express in the sun. Seven three seven max eight. Gorgeous livery on a gorgeous evening. Come on, go long. Don't be rotating around there. That'll do. Very pretty. Tango Charlie, Sierra Oscar Mike on the reg. Do we have that plane coming in, Seb? Yeah, that'll look good in the, in the sun. Yeah, yeah so. some long shadows, isn't there now? Yeah. Being cast along the fuselage, but stunning lighting, mate. These, oh, these pictures. Here is the special scheme coming in next. Yes, we'll Lap. get a recording of this, guys. Me and Matt will mute our mics so you don't hear us cheering when the sun stays out. <laughs> and uh, we'll catch you after this is a special livery guys so uh, a nice catch and a perfect way to celebrate uh, well not celebrate because I'm quite disappointed about it but you know what I mean the uh, end of our late night season here on Airliners Live enjoy this arrival
Super pretty. Super nice. Hello, Sam. Yeah, what do you think of the chat about that livery? It was a strange one. That was not as red as I was expecting. It was a really weird shade of red, wasn't it? Mm. I think the head on looked really nice, though. Mm. Reminds you of the Qatar retro. It's like a similar vibe. Yeah, nice to see, though. Really smart scheme. Got that Tui fly coming back out. She that, looked amazing in the sun earlier. Yeah. I hope that goes a bit long, because I really do like that livery. Yeah. Yeah, the Air Baltic is in what's called the Latvian flag livery. And uh, thanks, Sonny, for clipping that as well. Cheers. Yeah, I seen somebody waving, too, over the wing. That was nice. It was just such a good shot that everything about it was pristine. What a easy jet lining up on 2 3 right to take off soon. Uh, Emirates 380 is probably about half an hour away now, so stay tuned for that, folks. We'll wrap the show up on the King of the Sky. King of the Sky is arriving. Child is in bed before 7 a.m. Uh, 7 a.m. or p.m. Uh, the laundry is still wet. Oh, right, okay. I mean, it will be dry before dark. Oh, it's soaking. Easy DJ, heading back out. And I think the next aircraft is going to be potentially a Jet 2757. There she is. Alpha Echo on the reg. 757200. I think earlier today as well, I think it was said we pointed out that Iceland Air operated the 757300 today, which is the extended fuselage version of the 757. Super long aircraft, that. It looks so bizarre. 
And, like, as a passenger, when you're on the 757, like, even the 200 series, it feels really long on the inside because it's, like, your narrow body, but it just, you look down the aisle, it just goes on and on and on. Especially in that all-economy configuration that Jet 2 use. Cheers, Chris Smith, saying uh, brilliant stream, guys. Really appreciate that. Look who it is. Yeah, Aiden, it is a nice stream, isn't it? Who is it? I can't see. It's that plane. Oh, is it? Yeah. Mm, nice. Give me a nice one to catch in the evening light. I wondered why Barbara had returned. <laughs> <laughs> Manchester background starting to look like the Windows XP desktop. <laughs> Mate, you're not wrong there, to be honest. <laughs> that is perfect. Is it Red Nose Day? <laughs> oh. Is that even still a thing, Red Nose Day? That's a throwback, that. There goes the two you fly, 737, 800. Gorgeous atmospheric lighting here. Should we have a sun update? Look out for the moon as well, actually, because that would be really cool to catch with it being a super moon tonight. I don't think it's going to start rising till later on, though. Could be wrong. Some sort of, uh, you call them high Sirius clouds? And, uh, not too bad looking, pretty, pretty cinematic. Red Nose Day is every two years now. I did not know that. Is it? Why? Yeah. I mean, it's been a while since I've seen someone with one of them Red Nose things on. Yeah, do you remember them? Yeah, like in school and stuff, they used to be like a big deal. I'd be down for that if that was still a thing. A380 is still due at half past. Okay. What even is Red Nose Day? Reminds you of, uh, what's the other one, World Book Day as well? That's like a, more of a thing in schools. But yeah, for those watching abroad, out, not in the UK, we had this national holiday thing, <laughs> like a big charity thing where you'd wear like a, a red nose. <laughs> it was just like a plastic, silly red ball on your nose, wasn't it? It was like a round thing, similar to that. Yeah, you used to like pinch your nose, didn't it? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was all to do with raising money for charity. James Bond says, nice, relaxing video. Thanks. Awesome. James Bond. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, when I see people with names that are famous, I bet you get it all the time and you're sick to the back. Yeah. <laughs> we have a, a VIP called Gary Barlow, don't we? We do, yeah. 
What about Matt Smith? Hey, I think he's a. Uh, Everyone knows Matt Smith. Yeah. yeah. Matt Cam Smith. What about him? <laughs> <laughs> he's well famous. Man. Even more famous. Oh, just drop me. Drop no. Me. Drop no. me nuts on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? Wounded. Last place you want to put them. Um, oh, mate, I can't be eating them nuts now. Can I? That's, yeah, you don't want to be putting your nuts on the floor. Don't want to put, don't want to put <laughs> nuts in your, floor, on, uh, in your mouth when they've been on the can't floor. Put, can't put them <laughs> nuts in my mouth now, can I? No chance. <laughs> Goodness sake. Mocky nuts. So we've got this easy jet departing, and then we've got Logan Air, ATR 42, about to come in. And if they time this just right, yeah, we're going to have two jet holiday, two jet 275 in the holidays. We're going to have one departing and one arriving. Nice. Should be pretty cool. We've seen loads of jet 75s there. Yeah, like. strange. They Ooh. do seem. They do tend to like have a pattern like that, don't they? But correct me if I'm wrong. But every time, like this, this there's a couple of seven fives. You see, tend to see a lot of. Them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's very odd. Once, yeah, yeah. It's weird, isn't it? And sometimes you'll go a whole show and not see any. Exactly. Yeah. Got another ATR seventy two coming in. Is that Logan Air? Yeah, Logan Air. It's a forty two this Sunday. Ooh. Don't forget. Like I, I remember, a odd few Sunday shows, right? And we didn't actually see any jet twos, like. Jet to seven like any, you know. I, yeah, I think Sunday's probably the one where you don't see them. Very that often strange, because I think with Jet Two they kind of all go out early in the morning, don't mm, they? And then yeah, again late in the afternoon, uh, sort of like mid afternoon. I do recall a few like you say Sunday shows, and and the, the, the it was really scarce. Yeah, because like when we flew to Mallorca, I think that was in the afternoon. Yeah, and I think that plane would have done like you know a, a second yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, of course. And then be back for. For uh, before the runway shuts in the in the night. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, comic relief alternates with sport relief. Sport no, relief. Okay. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. Too. Makes sense. That. Cool. So for those eagle-eyed viewers in the chat, this is a shorter version of the ATR than okay. the uh, standard ones we see. So it's an ATR forty-two. Yeah. The usual ones we see are an ATR seventy-two. So uh, very similar-looking plane, but a bit shorter. Yeah. Hey guys, what time are you streaming till? Until the A380 lands, and then we're going to have to run. Yeah, we're going to have to wrap up really um, quick. Although we may not have to rush too much, because we are here tomorrow, so I think yeah. we'll probably, can probably leave quite a bit. Half the gear can probably stay in situ, but it's just nice to leave things tidy. In. Yeah, of course. Oh, that's pretty. It is. Tonight's going to be the biggest moon for nearly 15 years. Oh, it's a blue moon, isn't it? And it's going to be clear as well. So yeah. Might have to take a trip out there. I found oh. somewhere to take a picture of it. What time does the moon rise tonight, if anyone has that info? Yeah, so the next arrival is the uh, Jet 275, which is coming in from Tenerife South. Alpha Juliet on the ridge of this one. And I'm thinking, unless the Ryanair takes the intersection, we might see Alpha Echo depart to Antalya as well. Seeing a plane just there uh, turning onto the final leg of the approach what's that sorry the the one on the base leg the one that's just <laughs> got onto the approach is the KLM E2 ah. ooh okay quite literally ooh, ooh. ooh. and there's seven fives on the short
See them vortices just coming off the wings. Not leaving a, a, a clear cut uh, vortice, but you can see the jelly contrasting with the engines, uh, with the clouds, sorry. They did create quite big vortices that you had to, oh sorry, the 757 in general. Around 8.20 p.m., nice. Yes. Good timing for us. You need to get it when it's super low as well. That's like when it looks best. Is it? Yeah. It's going to have, have the most colour to it. I wonder if we go to work and get it. Hmm. Depends what, di what direction will it rise in, guys? From Where do we need to look? Treated again to a rapid exit departure of the 757 in front of us here. An awesome way to get towards the end of our show today. Jill, that makes sense, yeah. Blue Moon is actually uh, obviously a really rare thing, and that's why you'd say once in a blue moon. There you go. That's another thing today. Yeah, Sam, we have seen it. Yeah, I'm not massively blown away by it, but... I, I feel like a lot of liveries these days are just gravitating towards very similar shapes and stuff, right? Very mm. generic, aren't they? Like, the new Monarch livery, look at it compared to the this livery we were looking at now. The, the swoosh on the back with the tail yeah. and the coloured engines and winglets. It's just like the same. Yeah. <laughs> so according to Mark Thorpe, apparently the optimal time to photograph this particular blue moon is 2.35. Thursday morning. Why is that? Is it? Is, it, is that where the is that when the moon is its peak? Or yeah, it could be. I, I always like it when it's rising and you got like a bit of foreground. You can get like maybe a tree or some like building tops. Hey, that's right, Logan. Yeah, looks there. Sending some Q four hundreds back to Manchester. Excellent. It's be great to see them back. Yeah. That's not till, is it like Feb or something like next that? Next year, yeah. Um, or April, I can't remember. One, April, one. I think, yeah, I think you're right, April next year. I did see they were going to have a Wednesday service, so that might be an adage. Depending on what we decide to do with the Wednesday shows. So. Nice. Just so rare to hear about new airlines yeah. in Manchester yeah. in these days. From what we were originally it's, expecting. It's, it's, it's not so much rare to hear about them. It's rare to see... Like the room has come to fruition. That's what exactly. Really yeah. Really Here we go. Are we going to get? Are we going to get it? Yeah, that's going to get off in front of us. It. Yeah. We'll turn the mics up, guys. Fingers crossed for a nice howl off this one.
Ricky Howell and the half. That's what we're talking about, guys. You want to know why we give those aircraft the Wookiee name? Yes. That's it. Really uh, got a treat there. Looks like the Jet 2757 still holding short of 23 right, but yep. this easy jet's going to line up. This A320 off to Corfu. Love all those Wookiee emotes in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> you guys know what to do. And a rather blank looking Eurowings yeah. on final approach two. As Andy mentioned, the EasyJet just taking the intersection there. Otter Carfu. I'm not sure, Andrew. It could be if a number of things, mate. It could be they're not ready to depart yet, or they're trying to sequence it in, get the lighter traffic out first, maybe, yeah. but I'm not too sure about that one. But Yeah. Or um, could, could even be waiting for a slot still as well. Yeah, of course. Did sound great, didn't it? Yeah, it's. Uh, I think they slowed down to check the taxi chart. Yep. And then uh, that was lucky for us because they needed to add a bit of power in to get it going. And mate, if I was the captain on a 220 or an E2, mate, I'd be howling that all <laughs> around the airport. My Hurry backside up. would be dragged into the manager's office for waking everybody up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I say, listen here, so I'm sort of revving that E2 around okay. Manchester. Okay, really. noise abatement charges all around the airport. Yeah. Honestly, it'd be down to me that them engines get fixed because I'd just be <laughs> sat there going, hmm, hmm, hmm. Right. Sounds just like that as well, chat, by the way. Perfect. If, if, any, if any of you were wondering, if That's you missed. If you miss the uh, KLM. Carbon, carbon copy of a Wookiee, though. Was one it was, yeah, yeah. If you did miss the KLM, guys, that's exactly what it sounded if like. If you just I'll put a picture of a Wookiee on the I, screen, then that would have been it. I it, thought it was Taxi and Past again. If it was. When yeah, I yeah. If you just shut your eyes. <laughs> well, there's, a, there's a pair of Wookiees, though. Yeah. Two of them. I mean, Can't be a good pair of Wookiees. Not just a pretty face. A nice pair of Wookiees t-shirt. Available now. Airlineslive.com. Yeah. No one's bought any. We sold, like, one or two. Sold a pair of them. Did Jenny Watts happen <laughs> to buy that one T-shirt? Jenny Watts has got one, of course. Jenny Watts. If, any, if ever you're not sure what a design looks like, guys, get in touch with Jenny. Drop Jenny Watts a message. Ask her when she's next at the RVP, and just ask her to wear it on that day because she's got every single T-shirt we've ever released. Every every T-shirt, every hoodie, every mug, everything. Absolutely. James Whitaker, thank you very much for the three months of business class airliners live membership. Yes. Saying uh, Jet Two Seven Five Seven has ground ops. Round it, lights flashing and comms hooks up to the cockpit. Looks like it's having an issue. Well, you've got eagle eyes, mate, because I did not notice that. Yeah, we'll have a zoom into that after this uh, is out the way. And the sun's back out again. Look how pretty that looks. That sounds neat, isolating and using for a new megabong sound of it. Mate, we could definitely uh, kind of get that in there somehow. Perfect rendition. Thanks, Moonbirds. I he enjoyed it. He knows. Nah, seven fives maybe. Just in time for the sun. <laughs> Oh, if that exited there, that would have been pretty spectacular lighting, but... Uh, your wings in from Dusseldorf. Whoa. Okay, of course he was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see him. How many chips up there? Oh, see oh. Stephen there. Flying <laughs> <Corsair> Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually tracking it as well. Boy. Stephen Seagull. Those people <laughs> <laughs> It was a chip. 
those people watching in 3D just got terrified by that seal. <laughs> Jumped out of the screen. It's after me chips. <laughs> my, my. Mine. Getting clever outside the um, like the retail shops and that, aren't they? You know where the fridges are and everything now, the seagulls. Mate, have you seen that video Slide of the seagull in. that just Nicker swans butter. into things? Nick's a prawn himself, and, and yeah, yeah, Nick, just Nick's a prawn butty and just sneaks out. That. Just walks out casually. Mate, the one I saw, he didn't even sneak out. There's one person there, right, and the seagull got trapped in the in the supermarket and someone was there just opening the door for it. Come mate, on, mate. an accomplice. <laughs> Come on, mate. Literally got himself an accomplice. Got seagull charged the with gaff. theft. Help, a, a accomplice in... I'm pushing a seagull to Nick Asani. Oh, go, go. Mate, I'm going to be editing pictures for the next 12 months. <laughs> Yep, and as Andy mentioned, this fairly bland Euro wings Is just uh, just come in. Well, all the imports come off there, but I can only assume it's come from Munich. Right? Leaves a bit to be desired, doesn't it? Yeah. Or Dusseldorf, I think. Could be Dusseldorf, yeah. Yeah, he usually flies. Seagull in the gaff, in the gaff. Seagull in the gaff. Matty knows. He knows. A380 is now just over 15 minutes out, ladies and gents. So. Jewel Channel wondering if anyone caught the reg on that seagull there, ladies and gents. No, no. Mm. Taking regs. Aviationclub.net. Coming soon. Actually, guys, we have got a meeting tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Development update meeting. Zach, without Zach. So we will be finding out how close we are to beta tomorrow. Yeah. Don't let me down, sir. Come on, Zach. Yeah, it's really nice lighting this. The sun's come back out as well for these final stages. I mean, wow, even like the last half an hour has gone quick. It's just flown by, on not it? Yeah. It's Sam telling lies in the chat there. What's she saying? To Fezza. No, I actually do work in the day. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wait, driving... Driving around in a... In, in a fire engine. Going... Oh, I hope there's a fire, so I've got something to do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you have to read the newsletter, won't you? See what yeah, she, yeah, she actually yeah. does. Yeah. I think she modified it. I originally put, like, she doesn't just uh, save people from burning buildings and rescue cats from trees. <laughs> <laughs> that lo look how louder in the sun. Beautiful. Super pretty. A320 being pushed back. You see the engine starting as well. That jelly coming out of the... Oh, we're getting, like, mad lighting now. It's wild, this, isn't it? It's like going pink. Yeah. It's a good job the A380 is going late. Matt could see, uses eagle eyes, if he could see the A380 on the downwind, because it is pretty clear in that direction. Is it lined up parallel with the runway yet? It's not quite, is it? It's not, it's not actually on the approach yet. There is a Ryanair making a right-hand turn onto the approach, though. So thanks, Matt, for sticking up for me. <laughs> Can't see it though. Just yet. Things on the down window you do often see quite clearly on days like today. Can you see it? Wait, you're lying, you. No, I can't see. Uh, oh, Matt can. Mm. Oh, can he? I can't see it. 380 or the. Because there's a 737 on the approach at the moment. Chat, can you see? Can you see any. Uh, Planes over there. I feel like the can hear something proppy overhead though. No, no A380 in view yet. 
Oh, is a Pilatus PC-12 heading to Nice from Dundee is the props we can hear. Wow. No, 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 no. I've got a song in my head now, use. This... That A380 is quite a way out yet, that. You're not going to see that yet. Yeah, I mean... Hold on. You'll be surprised. What's that straight ahead of me now? So you see straight ahead of me above the red sign? Directly above the hill? That's it, mate. May I spot it? In the, in the break? In between the two clouds? Yeah. Literally pretty much smack bang in the middle, I'd say. Ooh. Yeah, Just yeah, yeah, above. Yeah. Mate. Is that an A380 chat? Yeah, 100%. That's it. Whoa. I've just uh, zoomed in on it. That is so far away. Guys, just follow it all the way. In. <laughs> yeah, it's going to go behind some clouds soon anyway. But yeah, let's follow it for a bit. Even the camera's struggling to focus on it. That is miles away. Like, that is just a speck in the sky. I can't, well, I can't even see the speck. That is crazy. If you have enjoyed today's show, guys, if you can give that like button a click for us, we'd really appreciate it. Thanks to everyone who sent support in during today's show as well. Thanks for all the donations and the gifted memberships as well. Guys on Twitch, check those Twitch Primes before we finish up today. And we'll be wrapping up on the A380. Yeah, currently the King of the Skies is on the approach into Manchester Airport. Yep. You know what I mean, Mel? Jen said to me, we, um, she's got to go for an eye test. She said, oh, you should book in for an eye test as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've not had an eye test in years. Right. Mate, I don't need... I've just spotted that A380 from about 50 miles away. <laughs> I think go. I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, need spectators. I think it's Let's skip it. What about an hearing test? Would Jen make you go for an hearing test? I don't want to go for a hearing yeah, test. Yeah, but would she make you? I'm asking you. <laughs> because if they tell me I can hear properly, then I can't get away with pretending <laughs> I'm not heard her anymore. <laughs> <laughs> hearing test. It's one of them, minute. If you're going to hear them calling you through from the waiting room, you know you're all right. Yeah, I had to... Um, I had to go and get some custom moulds done for when we used to work at the festivals. You, you don't just use like rubber earplugs mm. and sponge earplugs, mm. you just don't cut it, you know what I mean? You're looking at like 9,500 decibels. So um, you get custom moulds done and they take like a. Uh, a mould in your ear. You square it in all in yeah. your ear and you get cost, they build them custom. And, and there was like grants for it as well, you know, because we were working in the industry, the government helped pay for it. And that. Oh, yeah. And um, they did a full thing there, like checked all my ears, checked everything. They said, oh, yeah, your ears are actually really good. Did like a hearing test, said it was all right. Mm -hmm. And that was only like five years ago, so I don't think I need to do another one of them anytime soon. Mm -hmm. But I do need to find them earplugs, actually, because I must admit, since I've stopped working, I've no idea where they are, and, and they, they're really good. They sound like the easiest thing to lose them. Yeah, I, they came in like a, a carry case and everything. I always left them in the glove box of the car. So whenever I went on a job, I always had them with me. You still tracking the 380 there, Andy? I am. <laughs> <laughs> there is a Sun Express on a taxi out I can see in the corner of my eye. So we'll uh, catch that departing. I'm surprised this is still visible. I thought it would have disappeared behind some clouds, but these clouds are only, only, only small. No, not really, Seb, mate. I've not got a huge amount of time, and I've been trying to get back into Counter-Strike again. If anyone in the chat is actually half-decent at Counter-Strike, but not really good, <laughs> and you want to do a bit of face it, will you just shout out on the Discord? Because I have no friends, and I keep getting... You know what happens with Counter-Strike? If anyone's played it, it's a very much russian oriented game. There's a lot of Russians that play Counter-Strike, and... They get very, very angry if you're not very good at it. <laughs> so I would like some nicer teammates if uh, anyone wants to come and have a go. Let me know. Just goes behind the clouds there, the 380. Yeah, I think that's it now, isn't it? Rather, rather big cloud. Well right. tracked that, Andy. Well tracked. Andy. <laughs> Back to reality. <laughs> that was a bit weird, that, to zoom out then and just see all the colour and <laughs> things around me. It's like when you spend ages zoned out, just uh, disassociating. And the Magic Hour tuning in from Nairobi. Yeah, 9.25. p.m. Nice. We play a lot of, me and Sam play a lot of Apex. I don't know why, we just really enjoy it. But again, it's like, that's a trios game and there's only two of us. Mate, don't pull that excuse. You invited me twice 
and then I never had an invite off you ever again. You, you play it every week, <laughs> right, you and you say, "Oh, we've only got two of us to play with." Is that the you know what I mean? <laughs> Give it a rest. <laughs> You're welcome to join, but we only play for like half an Mate, hour. I'm not going to third wheel myself into your game of Apex. <laughs> if you want to play, <laughs> drop me a message and say, we need a third. Do you want to play? I'm not just going to come in on your little Apex date and go, all right, I'm gonna, uh, just going to add myself into this yeah. lobby here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cheers, Big Red. Glad you're enjoying it. Ooh, it's getting pinky, isn't it? It is getting yeah, nice. It's getting really smart, isn't it? Mate, look at that uh, Scandinavian. Ryan S737 next to touchdown. Single in the gaff. You uh, Christmas number one. Single in the gaff. Mate, is there a football match here somewhere? I can hear someone shouting. And I can't see anybody. Referee. He's offside. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Daniel, welcome in from Norway. Great to see you. That's one girl. I play CS, but not Face It. What's Face It? Uh, it's kind of like a better matchmaking plugin for CS. Oh. Um, it's quite good. I've only just started on Face It, to be fair. Wow, that is so... Cinematic looking, that it's lighting. Cool, isn't it? A lot of planes. Oh yeah, look at that. King of the skies just <laughs> turning left. That's mad, isn't it? Thanks to everyone who's tuned in today, guys. We really appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, we're going to be doing this all again tomorrow from about two p.m right through until 7.30 because tomorrow is the last day where the RVP stays open until 8pm so make sure you tune in come and celebrate it with us guys we'd love to see loads of you in the chat uh, loads of you getting involved and if you can bring your camera down and come to the RVP and just enjoy it um, I don't think the weather's going to be anywhere near as good here but um, as it is today I'll just have a quick check on the weather but Let's come see. down anyway or if you can't just tune into the stream and Help us make the most of the last late night opening for this season. Yeah. As the louder aircraft starts to uh, go down the runway. Let's catch that. Sun is really low. Literally golden hour through and through. <laughs> Tony says, guys, you don't have to start till after four. It's all right. I'm working till four. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice one, Tony. Right, show's cancelled till four now. Yeah, Tony guys, gets Tony said. Tony, Tony's <laughs> yeah. made the decision. Tony Rivers, that's in there in the chat with the uh, green and yellow. <laughs> His emails Tony Rivers at Tony .com. <laughs> Kev Rob asking, uh, are we going to go back to the earlier streams on a Wednesday? No, we're going to try and stream until six o'clock. Yep. Or ten to six. Yeah. Uh, we'll keep you updated then. EasyJet lined up ready to go next and then that'll be followed by the arrival of the King I think we may just give you one more plane after this as well guys the 7-6 yeah there's a 7-6 just about to uh, join the approach yes. in from Paphos yeah and that's the uh, plane that took David Long down to Paphos earlier today correct
Thanks, Sarah. Great to have you with us. Thanks a lot. Yeah, tomorrow is the last day of the extended RVP opening hours. So if you haven't been down yet late in the evening, tomorrow is your last chance. And after then, it's, uh, it closes two hours earlier from the 1st of September. That aircraft just seemed to find all the sun then. It did, yeah. We're, we're in the shade here. I don't know how it did it. I genuinely thought it was going to be pretty dark, and yeah. it just caught all the sun. It was awesome. That was crazy. Mate, I've got such a nice picture of that. Yeah. Buzzing with that. Got another aircraft on final approach as well. It's an Emirates 777 flying overhead as well. That's pretty cool. Oh, that looks like a, just a narrow body. We'll stick with the King of the Skies, I think. Although we do have a departure lining up on the runway too. As the sun sets, look at that. Super low now. Yeah, we're going to get some mad lighting now. Yeah. Look how long the shadows are. Is that my shadow there? I think so. Wild getting this right now, mate. I'm just taking a picture of everything now. Yeah. Stunning. Here is the king of the skies emerging. Hey, I pan that line there as well. <laughs> Not you, mate. Look at that. The lighting on that is wild. I've never seen this at Manchester before.
Ladies and gents, I'm going to uh, mute my mic now for a while and just <laughs> grab the pictures of all these departures. Enjoy this. We're going to stay live till the 7 6 taxis pass. Yep. Yep. This Enjoy is it. We're awful. just going to make the most of this because we're not going to get conditions like this again this year. So enjoy it, guys. Well, we were treated today, guys. We were definitely treated today. Yep. What a way. I don't think the weather's going to be as good tomorrow, but if you can, tune in and show the support. Yeah, we'll do it all again tomorrow, if you want. Yeah, 2 o'clock. Make sure you're here, guys. Big shout-out to Andy on the camera, smashing it. Thank you. Well done, Andy. Cheers. Uh, me and Matt will get these pictures edited and over to ASAP. We're going to get packed up now, guys. Get out in time for the 8 o'clock closing. And then get home and try and take a picture of this moon if we can as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So. Cheers for the support, everyone. Thank you very much for yeah. this being the form of a like. Just a like, a gifty, all of you have donated to the channel. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks to everyone who supported the stream today. Cheers, Mods, doing an epic job as yeah. always. Number one, Mods, thank you. But for now, folks, that's going to wrap us up here from Manchester. Thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, welcome to all the new viewers as well. Yeah. Welcome to the crew. Welcome guys. in, everyone. We'll see you all tomorrow. Take care. Take care. See you. See you.